It's day five of the 2022 World Championships in Budapest, and we are 10 minutes away from session five, from day five final session beginning. Biggest news is umpteen time world champion Caleb Dressel pulls out of the world championships for medical reasons. I'm still trying to process this information. That's heartbreaking for swim fans everywhere. I don't think it matters who you are or what country you're rooting for. Um, if you like fast swimming, then this is a blow. And uh, it's probably going to take me a little bit to, to swallow this one, but that's the big news in the morning. And I'm very sad about it. I'm <laughs> very sad. Um, however, we're still going to see a lot a lot of fast swimming today. We start things off with the women's 200 fly. I'm not so sure how record breaking that heat is going to be, given that the world record is, as you see on the screen now, an insane 2018, which almost no one has no one has gotten even close to. Uh, Zhang Yufei was 2038 in in tokyo but that's about it that's the that's the closest we've gotten in 12 years sorry putting air buds in i'm getting a slow start to my morning because i can't handle caleb dressel not being here it makes me so sad um let's take a look at this 100 free all-time performers list though um this is this is from before this meet started so Popovich is uh, 47-13, surprisingly only checks in at number nine performer all time, which is really surprising. Uh, it's obviously a world junior record. He's still only 17, which is just mind-numbing to me. Uh, but yeah, th there have been eight more guys. So he's number nine. There have been eight more guys that have been faster than him in history. We might be talking to one of one or two of those guys later today. Uh, you'll just have to wait and find out. As you can see, four Australians are in that top eight, which is nuts. Uh, just all in a row, they've all been forty-seven low, forty-seven zero, or forty-seven one. Um, and more breaking news: as Ben Dornan is pointing out in the comments, Kaminga is out of the two hundred breast. Uh, we've been told he is out of the meet with illness. That was his last. Um, that was his last individual. He was focusing on the hundred and two hundred. I think he might have had relay duties though, as well. Um, but he's scratching the tuner breast. I guess we'll see if he's out of the meet um, permanently, or if he comes back maybe for a relay. But again. That two hundred breasts is last individual. He is scheduled for the men's four hundred medley relay, but Arno Kaminga is also out today. Our competitors are dropping like flies. This is a hard world. It feels a lot to me like the short course worlds in Abu Dhabi this past December, um, where people were just having to scratch left and right. A lot of that was COVID related, but it's it's never what you want to see. We got gold medal mail on deck. <clears throat> Um, I, was just, I was just listening to you and it's uh, before you start your, your, there's so much drama and before you start a final to hear about Dressel, I, I, it's, it's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow. Is he did, I don't know if you share this. Is he back home? Is he already back home on us soil? Um, I, that's what I've heard. I, that's, that's hearsay, but it's just you and me here talking now with no one else listening that's, away. It's, um, uh, in the two of us, that my, that's what I'm hearing from my sources is that he's already back on U.S. soil, which is a good sign. That's that's good for everyone because if he's out of the meet, he wants you know you want him to be home in a safe place where he feels comfy okay. and he can get back to taking care of himself. We got we got five minutes. Let's put something in context. There's a lot of speculation as to why he's out, but you you are front lines. You're interviewing elite athletes all the time on a daily basis. And uh, the one message we keep hearing back from them, and it's in gotten increasingly louder since the start of the pandemic, is that 
this could be mental health. If it is mental health, this is a, uh, this is a real thing. It's, um, yeah, I don't, it's, we don't know, but, um, we don't know, but uh, it, I, I feel like this, this is, I'm, I'm amazed that people are showing up and racing at this meet at all, considering mm -hmm. what we've experienced since the pandemic, since the odd funky Olympic games to arrive this year at this moment, I'm, I'm impressed to see it and excited for the young talent that's breaking through. Hello, swim swim from Cody Miller. Sorry, I, not. <laughs> Hello, Cody Miller. Um, Cody, we've got a special guest on deck who's about to enter, who who you might want to stick around for. Um, I know they're very near and dear to your heart. Um, on on a quick quick thing on the mental health side, um, yeah, we don't know what's going on with Caleb. It might be mental health, might be physical health. I. I, obviously it's, I guess it's one of the two, maybe it's not obviously one of the two, but if it is mental health, it's like, it's a real thing. And, you know, Mel, you were sharing the, this with me right before we hopped on. It's like, you were able to stay at the top of, you know, at the top of the world in one event for four years. Right. And after that you were exhausted and you were just like, I don't want to do it anymore. It, 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 to, to give you, to, to go inside that, which is why I'm so astounded with it, with the, the new generation of athletes who are doing like it was, you know, with Coughlin and Phelps and Lochte and Lasso Che. And it, it, it's, uh, yes, it feels like the world starts crushing in on you. There's so many demands on you. Um, and the demands are, you know, it's times 10 for them. It's times 10 for them now because there's more business behind it. You know, in our day, it was just the infancy of, of, of an ability to make money as a, as a pro athlete. So it's like, I just remember how much I was like, I wanted to get away from it. I just wanted to escape it. So um, I, I, I got a lot of compassion for what's going on with these elite swimmers now. I, it, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to fathom. And here's the deal. This year is, a, is the year that you pull out. You know, if you're looking to go to another Olympics, um, <clears throat> If you're looking to go to Paris, um, this is the year you take off. You know, it's like we've talked about it with Ryan Murphy. He kind of started his year late, and everyone, everyone who is in his inner circle that we've talked to, um, <clears throat> has been like, "Yep, he, he's doing exactly what he needs to do to get ready for Paris." Right? Um, and it's the same thing. It's like anyone who wants to go long term you need a break. And they just came off a five-year cycle. Caleb just came off a five-year cycle where he was honest and open about the fact that it was really tough for him. And he won five gold medals. But enough about that. We got Caitlin Sandino on deck. <laughs> hey guys, I was having some technical difficulties, but I'm on. <laughs> She's on. What's up, Caitlin? How's it going? It's going really well. Thank you so much for having me. I miss my little swim bike. How are you guys? We're doing great. We're we're pulling through this world's. It's day five of this world championships. Um, I'm so excited to have you here. I don't know if you've been watching or you're gonna watch, but 200 flies, the first individual event. I'm so excited we have you here for that women's <laughs> final. Um, what what are you thinking about that final? Uh, well, 200 fly, I just love his relationship. Obviously, I'm very excited to see. Um, you know, if we can contend with the Canadian, I know it's going to be an amazing race. Um, you know, last season I got to witness Summer's performances in ISL and was very impressed by her, obviously. Very young, strong, seems like kind of like no fear, uh, which I love to see, which you have to have in those type of events, right? But obviously pulling really hard for Haley. This, I, I, I'm going to go off topic, Coleman, and I know you hate it when I do this. I know you <laughs> do hate it. it. I just got to say something. I, I the NBC on deck person right now is Nick Zaccardi. Is that correct? We, and, and we love yes. Nick. Nick is a great Nick, reporter. Yeah. Nick's he's a great reporter. He's uh, he collaborates. He sometimes he'll share. He'll be like, you know, I've gotten this information. This is going to go live. This is something that we found. We really love him as a reporter. However, I would like to see Caitlin on deck for NBC, oh. and I want to know why that is now. I'd like to. Yeah, here's the thing. I'd like to see Caitlin, Elizabeth Beisel. Like, if, if women are swimming or men, I want to see them either either call in color 
or on deck. And I'm got to be honest with you, I'm a little annoyed that that's not the case. No, that means a lot to me. Seriously, thank you so much, especially coming from you. Um, I've enjoyed every single opportunity that I've ever gotten to have being on the deck. Um, Olympic trials hosting was literally one of my favorite things ever. Obviously, swimming there was great, too, especially when you make the team. But being a part of the swim community from that perspective is one of like my highlights from my swimming career. So I really appreciate that. I, too, think that Elizabeth Beisel does an incredible job, and I would love to see her on the deck um, as well. She's so informative, and she does such a great job with the color. I love to do the interviews. Um, I would love to see us out there a little bit more. But uh, it's a tough industry. Everybody wants to be out there. <laughs> it, it's, well, here's the thing. I think that in terms of our sport, it's such a mature, professionalized sport. I do think USA Swimming's done a great job. I think is doing a better job, and I'm very bullish on what they're doing for the future. But I think for the for the for our brand, I think that we should see we need to see elite women who have long-term experience, medals on deck, representing who we are. Our because this is our this is our window to the world. And um, and I and I just I you know I'm always asked that question. It's like why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening? Because the talent exists and you have the experience. Thank you. I think I have the professional side as far as being a swimmer and the personal side because I feel like we really want to get to know our athletes and the relationship that Elizabeth and I have with these athletes um, and just kind of bond in USA Swimming. I think um, athletes are comfortable with us and they can uh, communicate with us and we can ask the right questions because we've been in their shoes. We've gotten right out of the pool after a win or a seventh, you know, so we've kind of had the highs and the lows and we have the empathy, right? And I think that's really important that we can connect through that. Um, but again, I really appreciate that. It's a huge compliment that you think that I could be fit for the bill um, and would be grateful for any opportunity myself. There you go, NBC. Take note. <laughs> now, right to NBC for me. <laughs> we did. Is Cody we did. on? I'm confused. Is Cody here? I want to say hi to Cody. Cody, Cody's in the. I think Cody's watching. Okay, Cody. Um, I'm gonna send he's Cody a link. He, Cody's he's coming on later. I think he's busy. He said he he said he'd drop in and say hello and and uh, you know we if you're Here's not Cody. watching. Hi, Cody. Watching, if you're, not watching, if you're not watching the series. You're, you know, you're, you're not cool. So, uh, did he just say hi? He said hi. Hey, mom. I don't think you've gotten on here yet. <laughs> Cody says Caitlin has also has excellent camera presence and comfort, which is also extremely rare. Cody, you're making me a lot. We just brought Caitlin on here. <laughs> To pump uh, up my ego. <laughs> to pump up her ego, exactly. Uh, I have to jump on a plane in like 25 minutes. Well, I'm leaving for the airport shortly, so I'm excited to get. What? How much um, longer until the swims kick off? Swims are kicking. I, they're marching out the two hundred fly final as we speak. Ooh, this is exciting. My heart rate just kind of pitter pattered a little bit. Then. <laughs> I know it's it's going to be really good. So, um, where are you going, Caitlin? I'm headed are you to off the airport. I Vegas. I am not a huge Vegas fan, but it's for a convention uh, for my my new line of work that I'm in right now. So I actually haven't been on a plane since the Netherlands and I for ISL. So I this is the longest I've gone without travel. So I'm <laughs> kind of looking forward to getting back out there. But um, it's gonna be really hot and it's gonna be a lot of work. But I'm forward to it. I like to travel. Uh, yeah, I'm a little jealous. That's a lot of home time. That's a lot of home time. It's like six months. <laughs> I guess when you live in Southern California, it's not that hard to stay there for a while. Just, just don't don't leave. Don't 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 leave. I think Cody's coming in because Cody's probably yeah. wants to say hello. I hope he does. I, I, it, I he's asking for the link, but I, he was scheduled later on. Oh, that's so hey, good. We, we're good with quick appearances. I want to see Cody. We can yeah, we can do a DC Trident reunion. Yes, ah, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I'm sure this. Our question, do we, what happened to Caleb? So we don't know what happened to him. We know he's out of worlds. Um, completely. completely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big bummer. Um, it's for, you know, it's for medical reasons. We've heard it's non COVID related. Um, okay. We've heard he's already home, uh, which would, would be best case scenario if, oh. if it is something medical. And so, um, yeah. Oh, wow. We can't con we can't confirm that. That's hearsay, and it's uh, it's just you know that hasn't been confirmed. But 
would well, would make I mean, sense. It's a hard one. Yeah, it's definitely are hard. You, do you have the stream on? Are you watching the 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 races? Or are you are you flying blind on us? I know where. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you what's happening. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm oh. another. I thought I was going to be here for. <laughs> no, 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 we we don't have the races here, but you can pull it up on Peacock or Olympic Channel. Got it. I just refer to uh, you both to fill me in. <laughs> we can fill you in. Cody's coming Cody on in about he... 20 minutes, yeah. Oh, Cody, got to hurry. <laughs> the in about 25 minutes. <laughs> we're in the water. I'm in the water on my, where, where are you? Where are you we're in the, we're yeah, in the water. we're in the water. Um, who, no, Zhang Yufei is out fast again, out in lane two. Uh, she... She went out fast yesterday in the semis. She's out fast once again. Reagan and Summer are 0. 0.6 and 0. 0.8 behind her. She's um, out at 27.52. I think Reagan normally kind of takes it out on the faster side as well. But, I mean, she, she looks strong. Her butterfly is so natural and has such a, such a good flow to it. It's so easy to watch her swim that. Very effortless when she swims. I mean, all of her strokes. Reagan's charging here. Reagan's charging into the 100 wall. Yeah, so it's it's Zhang, Reagan, and Summer. Um, Reagan and Summer are half a second behind Zhang. Uh, Zhang touched at 59.68. 59, Ooh. That, that would put Reagan and Summer at right at 00, 001. Uh, and now the field's kind of starting to catch Zhang. Reagan and Summer still look pretty good. Summer's kind of making a move now. Reagan's, Reagan, Reagan's got an edge on her. Reagan, Reagan looks not that it looks like no. Summer just pulled ahead. But yeah, Summer's ahead at the 150. Haley's moving up now. Uh, Reagan's still in second. Zhang's still in third, but Haley's kind of creeping up in lane five. Summer Ooh. McIntosh. Summer McIntosh 132.6 on that uh, on the 150. How are Summer's underwaters? I'm still trying to get all right now, you guys. Um, I we didn't see her underwater off that third wall, but Reagan's was better. <laughs> Reagan <laughs> came out. Reagan came out ahead, but Summer is asserting herself now. Um, we got Haley coming into second. Ooh, ooh, ooh Reagan ooh, just ooh. got passed by Zhang for third. Ooh. But, uh, Summer great, world great. junior record. Haley second. It's a great it's summer a great world race. world junior record 205 20 15 years old is she 15, she's 15 right she's 15. what was it five what 205 20 205 two zero. Two zero. Wow. Two zero. Yeah. wow not bad before you're driving to <laughs> <laughs> no problem just threw down a 205 today casual <laughs> seriously i mean if she that's that's her Third two oh five in like three months. Um, that, so well yeah, for, not, that bodes well for Paris. She's on a trajectory to to, to pop a great swim. But that world record two oh one. I've always looked at that world record and thought that doesn't mm. check out. <laughs> that doesn't check out in my book. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's performance enhanced, but I'm just saying you know it doesn't check out for me. <laughs> I was Mel on this. I second. <laughs> 2018 I mean uh, that was faster than Spitz in, in before Spitz hit 1972 I was like no that was faster than Spitz in 1972 it's like whoa it's so it's just kind of nah. oh look at that okay gosh yeah. you guys are like this <laughs> we got results um, yes, they're very closely at the screen I know <laughs> I'm going to break my nose the entire now? picture <laughs> We got results. So oh. yeah, Haley was two oh six oh. So Zhang Yufei, for some context, Olympic champion in Tokyo last year. She was two oh three eight in Tokyo, and she blew everyone out of the water, right? And she yeah. was still two seconds off of that world record you were just talking about. So it's like, ooh. From Ben, he says Canada's first medalist in this event ever. That's pretty cool. I like that stat. That's a oh Canada. That's great. That's exciting for their country. Swim Swam's own Canadian Ben Dornan. <laughs> if, if, if you if you if you if you're just dropping in now, we're team minus sixteen minutes until Cody Miller drops in. Woo woo! <laughs> that also, <laughs> that also 
first. <laughs> <laughs> that also might be T minus 16 minutes until the men's 100 free final. Ooh. Yeah, that's what he's trying to make. Prediction. You guys, did you already do your predictions? Did I miss that? Sorry. No. We okay. no, we have not done predictions. What do you think? <laughs> I think Jason Lizak's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> What you do, <laughs> Jason Blazak? <laughs> what you do? Oh my gosh! Well, on, honestly, I haven't been as super in tune with the new gig that I have, but obviously, I know of this young superstar who all eyes are on, and the showdown between him and Caleb was, you know, on my forefront of my mind. So now that Caleb's out, um, it just really bumps me out. I'm really excited to see this, but as far as times. Jason will tell you I'm not excellent on that stuff. So you guys tell me. <laughs> um, well, I'm wearing a Steph Curry shirt for two reasons. Number one, because Steph Curry is the best shooter of all time. And we're going to see the best hunter freestyle of all time emerge today in David Popovich. And number two is because I'm team Curry. <laughs> yeah. uh, Brooks Curry comes in clutch when he needs to. He's going to get on the podium. That's my okay. prediction. What lane is going into finals? <sighs> Let's see. Um, I can I can pull that up right now. Maybe. Here we go. Start list Jake, for minutes 100 free. I, I, got, I got to break in for one second. Jake <laughs> Foster just DM'd us <laughs> and, and, uh -oh. and from Instagram. He needs the link. Can you, can you send him <laughs> the screen link? Or I'll do it. I'll do it. You do what you're doing. I'll, I'll go do it. Okay. I saw him on there. Okay. So we're, oh, yeah. He is in lane one, right? Yeah. Brooks Curry's in lane one. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. But he, you know, he won the NCAA title 50 and 100. Uh, he's had a great meet so far. <laughs> Christy knows what's up. Go, Brooks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see. I love so, it. <laughs> I've, I've got my curry shirt on because I want to see a world record and I want to see a curry medal. So that's that's my predictions in that. Did <clears throat> uh, you guys about Summer's mom? Summer's mom, Jill, was ninth in the 200 fly at the 84 games. What? That's so Did you know that now? Whose mom? Summer, Summer McIntosh. I didn't know that. Guys, I went to those Olympics. I was one years old and it, um, it was in LA and I have a picture what? of me little like high top nikes with a red swoosh and i was like walking down in like a usa baby so my first olympic do you have do you have that picture handy can you send us that picture I do. my mom has it mom if you're watching we need that picture i um, need that picture stat <laughs> stat mom <laughs> that's amazing i can't wait for la 2028 the 84 olympics revived for if you guys are young you don't know your history there was a concern after this after 80 that it would that the Olympics were dead. It would, that they were they couldn't be revived. And the L.A. Olympics, the Hollywood Olympics, revived it. It was one of that. It, it turned a profit. It was a great Olympics, and uh, so it's a good good to show. Maybe it was because Caitlin was one, and her energy entered the universe. <laughs> like I'm, here. Made, you so are. Made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm actually wearing my um, L.A. 28 shirt the other day on my workout. People were like. Awesome shirt. I'm like, I'm so fired up. I can't wait. <laughs> and, and the chief athlete officer of LA 2028 is none other than <laughs> Bennett Evans. Bennett Evans doesn't get more iconic than that. For, for, of... for everyone listening on the stream, there's something you should know. Rowdy Gaines told me this. He told me early on, I guess, Mel, if Janet Evans tells you something to do, just do it. Don't question it. Just do it. Because she, she's so powerful. I just I just do whatever she tells me. And I, and I followed Rowdy's advice because he's mentored me. And I'm like, so with Janet says, Mel, do this. I, I don't say anything. I just do it. <laughs> yes. Yes, queen. <laughs> Are you guys excited for trials? I can't wait. I'm excited. For trials? Uh, Irvine. Is that what Irvine Nationals, obviously. Irvine. Some. Someone asked me the other day on a podcast what my favorite pool I've ever been to was, and I think I said Irvine. Did because, you really? I mean, the, like, just the SoCal vibe is second to none, and it's like two outdoor 50 meter pools. The weather's always great. It's like the food's great. You yes. can go to the beach. I mean, like, it doesn't. It's it's just so great. It's such a good I pool. Was 
old teammate, Charlie Houchin, was 2016 Olympian. And we were talking about this. I'm like, oh, you're coming to Nashville? He's like, oh, is it in Irvine? I'm like, it is. He's like, that's my favorite pool. That was my favorite place to run. I was so it's funny that you just said that for me I had like mixed reviews because that was a pool that we raced in so often growing up here and over over there so I think when you race the same pool so many times it kind of loses its pizzazz a little bit but we also never got to well I saw it I guess maybe one or two times when they did up the stands and they really made it into the venue with the the um uh VIP lounge above and and whatnot so that's kind of elevated the whole experience there but it's just a beautiful thing. And like you said, usually it's smoking hot weather here in SoCal and great restaurants around. And I think it's great for the athletes and the families that come out. It's a really great location for everyone. Um, so we're gonna set the table real quick, Coleman. We're you know, we're we're first flight of the women's semis hunter free. Penny Elisiak is 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 in lane four, I think. How how do you think she's been swimming so far um, at World Camps? Penny didn't have a great to she false started in the 200 free um and she went out fast and then finished eight and i think some people were saying that she had realized she dq'd and kind of shut it down okay. but, or maybe she just went out fast because she dq'd and was or you know she knew she false started and was kind of uh, but um but i think she she had a really good relay split for team canada she passed the u.s on the anchor leg in the four free relay to get silver behind Australia. Um, and so I think Penny's having a good meet. Um, and we're going to see her twice today in this and then again in the women's four by two free relay, which we're coming Canada out of 50. We're coming out of 50. Be a contender in. Showstrom uh, touches second. Sarah Showstrom <laughs> is my dark horse in my fantasy league. Uh, Braden, Loretta, and Ben were talking trash yesterday, and I was like, listen, my team is named Lezak and the Comebacks, and uh, Sarah Showstrom is going to Lezak them. She's going to swim it's three individual events. Of this heat. Head the down, second half like, of the meet, she, she never score me all the points. She's incredible. Showstrom 52.02 at the wall, guys. It looked, and Lezak uh, touched second. She looked like she might be a 53.1. They're, you know, it's real tight. 5302, Mal. No, no, no. It's just 5302. What did I say? You said 5202. Oh, I did. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm a, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm thinking Kate Campbell in a relay. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a that's a good swim for Sarah, especially in semis. <clears throat> and I mean, and she won that by a significant margin. Uh, that's a good yeah, it's a good swim. I think we're gonna see both Americans in this as well. Uh Tori and Claire are both in that second heat. Can as I ask well as, about the oh sorry, sorry to interrupt. Um I don't mean to ask digress. Away. Medley relay. Hunter swam instead of Murphy on the backstroke leg, correct? Yes, he did. Well, why? I I mean obviously <laughs> it's like pretty, I mean they did it, it's reviewing. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Why wasn't Murph on that? It's a great, a great question. We brought this up yesterday, and I actually asked Nathan the same question. So Murphy swam prelims, and oh, then yeah. Hunter swam finals. And I was like, okay, I know they were essentially the same, but Murphy swam a hundredth faster in the individual, right? Why? I yeah. get why was why did they put Hunter on finals? Nathan said. Th that he hypothesized he didn't know but he was like i'm guessing they gave murphy the choice I I was and so and if you think about their schedules for the rest of the meet hunter has the 50 back murphy has the 200 back today and tomorrow yeah hunter has the 50 back on day seven and day eight when mm -hmm. when the medley relay is so right. my hypothesis is that murphy was like you swim finals on the mixed now Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rest for the two back. I'll right. swim finals on on the medley relay. Um, we got a comment here. You know, they're women matter. I totally understand that, but usually, like my experience with USA swimming and with relays, whoever you know places higher in that individual, they get to be on the finals. So obviously, no, it's tick for tat on that real close. But it would be I I agree with you. Murphy's decision if he were to you know 
take that finals position or not, but that's what I was thinking too. Maybe just trying to rest up for the rest of the week. Yeah. I mean, it, it, so they were a hundredth apart. So I, it, sure you're, you're a, a bread sandwich, your comment of it doesn't really matter anyways, but it kind of does matter, you know, <laughs> being on the relay is a big deal. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, when, when you, when you work that hard, um, and Take then, it. you know, and, <laughs> and you earn a spot on that finals relay. Um, and if someone's like, oh, we're actually going to put you on prelims instead. Right. <laughs> again, this is all speculation. I don't actually know what the case was, but, um, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the relays play out this week. And if we see him, um, on that, on the, on the, yeah, who, what they do for prelims and finals of the men's medley, but great question. We also <laughs> were curious about that one. Oh, well, then that's how I was wondering, did anything have to do with it? Because Caleb was out then. And then we had a comment right here that said that too. And that was something else I thought about too. I was like, well, maybe they had last minute switches with Caleb being out. So it's, it's I think that relays are always interesting, specifically the mixed relays. Mm -hmm. that was um, yeah. And that's, yeah, that's also a great point. They could, they could, yeah, it could have been, um, it could have been a thing where Caleb kind of threw a wrench in it. So they just totally made a different plan. So we've got semi number two of the women's hundred free in the water. Claire Curzan is out fast as is Tori Husk. Awesome. I like that. Uh, <laughs> we've got Molly O'Callaghan in lane four looking good as well i think she, yeah she gets the win kyla sanchez of canada in third behind tori Ooh. claire is fourth nice. but at 18 god matt temple has the best hair in swimming right now he has just a <laughs> wicked mullet and they just showed it and it's too good i i want hair mark my words in two years i'm gonna have that hairstyle <laughs> Do i'm growing <laughs> I'm I'm growing it out as fast as I can, and uh, as soon as as soon as it's that length, I'm getting a Matt Temple mullet. How was what, how fast were they out? How fast were they out in the in the, in the hundred? Were you watching? I, I'm not sure. I'll get results up here in just a sec. Uh, so, well, I, we got them. I was just curious about Molly's split because our, our commenters are coming in. They you know basically even split that that. Molly was 26-42, Wow. That's, so yes, that's a that's, that's a clean a, even split. That's a, that's a, that's a, it's a negative split because of the dive, obviously. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, it's a negative split because of the dive. That's that's a that's a crazy way to swim a fifty two. <laughs> but yeah, it works. Fifty two eight for Molly. Uh, it looks. Let's see. Sorry, pulling up these results right now. <clears throat> um, they're talking to Claire and Tori, so I'm guessing both of them made it through. Um, That's she, great. Didn't, she negative split a hundred free. What? What the? What um, the? Just by the way, I'm I'm over here that? on Twitter. Just so you know, Caleb Dressel is trending nationally on Twitter right now. Really? Oh. Wow. Uh, wow. Claire is seventh. Tori is third. Both Americans through the through yeah. to the final. Huge. Where do you go, ladies? Yeah, but yeah, fifty two eighty five for Mayo Callahan with with essentially what is a negative split. That is a crazy waste to do. Jesus. Oh, girl, Ann Hopkins from nine there. Yeah, I was I was just in Anna's new hometown of Loughborough. And so I was secretly rooting for Anna as well, but. She's a great, great girl. Um, where, how, how is it there? I'm so curious. Cause I feel like um, Andreas, Andreas Monseos was there. Um, he's on to a level. People are going there. People are going there. Um, and I see, I see why now I, I saw Andreas. I spent a good amount of time with him when I was there. Um, it's a, you know, it's a quiet college town. Mm -hmm. and the middle of England, there's 30 or 50,000 people. So it's not big, but okay. their facilities are like, are comparable to a, um, a power five D one program. 
Cool. You know, it's like their athletic facilities are elite and it's like, it's a great place to go if you want to get a master's degree or, or an undergrad degree, I guess, and right. really focus. And at the same time, really focus on being a professional athlete. That's great. That's awesome. Cody, if you want to make the hunter freestyle, you better hurry up, buddy. Cody. Oh, so it's Vic our coach. Vic Riggs was my coach. Uh, he was my club coach. Um, that's awesome. I love when people bring up my past club coaches. I had the best experience. Now uh, the West Virginia coach. Let's see. Oh, everybody's getting excited for Brooks. The, when was Vic Riggs your coach? Uh, he was my club coach when I um, all the way until college. So I started um, really? on small summer. League. I, I started like my swimming career started on a small summer league team, and then I um, joined a club team that was pretty low key because I was really involved in soccer. So I wanted to split my time between soccer and swimming, and then I just stayed on a small team. And then the my coach married the head coach of a bigger team, Vic Riggs or Renee Riggs or Renee Kaufman married Vic Riggs, and they merged to make. I mean, like a bigger team and then bigger there. That's awesome. Do we have predictions in the men's 100 freestyle? We, we can uh, just top of each. What's he going to go? I already gave you mine. 46, 46.7 for Popovich. New world record. Brooks gets in for third out of lane. 46.7. World eight. record. Yeah. World record's going down today. Curry, Curry's, Curry's on the podium with what? 47, oh. six, 47, six. What? I you think 47, six is going to make the podium? Yeah, no. I no, do. No, no, no. no well, I don't think. Let's take, let's take a look at these um, semi results. And as you'll see, there was <laughs> one, two 47 fives were second and third in semis. I think people are going to tighten up. I think 47, six makes the podium. I think I think it's going to take a forty-seven-three to make the podium. That's that's my prediction. My prediction is you're wrong. I know everything. Forty-seven-three to make the podium. This is going to be lights out. Pop, Popovich is going to drag him to to a faster swim. <laughs> uh, he didn't drag him to a faster swim in the two hundred free. Just flow with sure. it, buddy. He just waked everyone. You know what that means, Mel. I'm going to wake you. <laughs> <laughs> that that's when you dominate a swimmer so much that they're in your wake. That's my Mel Stewart impression. That was a that was a that was a full NBC special on the <laughs> definition of waking. <laughs> Who's okay. get over? Who's okay. touching second? Oh, yes, um, well, I think the I think the I think Maxime, who's on screen for me right now, uh, from France, Maxime Grousset. I mm -hmm. think he finally gets uh, an, an individual world champs medal. He he looked good. And I think he was fourth in Tokyo, and I think he's hungry. <laughs> That's a good point. Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, somebody yeah. says not even close to world record. I think the world record, okay, I don't think it's going to happen this one, but I think if Caleb would have been in this race, it would have happened. I think <laughs> The, the level of excitement, anxiety, the anticipation, the nerves, the showdown, I think that brings you to a whole nother level. Not to say that this is a weak field now, just to say that that competitiveness, it did lose a little bit of its glimpse, right? Because everyone's like, oh, bummer, Caleb's not in it. I did. Yeah, no, no, it, 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 there's collective mourning going on right now. You know, the interesting, <laughs> thing, interesting thing is he's got, a, he's got a gold medal in his pocket. He's he's already done a great mean. swim. What does that mean? He's got that two cut, two gold medals in his pocket. That can cut both ways, though. That can cut both ways. You know, it, it, is it? Uh, you know, you can see he might turn in a win here, or it might be inspired to go the world record. Oof. I um, with a bread sandwich's comment. It's uh, an interesting field now that you have the best of the best not there. It is. It is pretty weird. We're certainly seeing a new a new crop, right? Uh, mm -hmm. David looked a little nervous. I don't. I'm not as confident about a world record now. It's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Of a lot on it. And and, and as Nathan was saying yesterday, um, it's it's a it's a whole different ball game when you're in the final with these seven other elite, you know, eight total yeah. elites, and you're trying to battle the waves. Wait, he, 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 he flipped twenty-two-five. He's closing. This is going to be. If he pulls this out, it's going to be a fingernail. 
Josh <laughs> Liendo is pulling away as in Maxime. So it's going to be those three for the for the medal. It looks like. I like uh, just yeah. <laughs> slow. Ooh, forty-seven five for Popovich. So no Ooh. world record, but he gets that world title. Wow, I'm I'm so far off. I was like forty-seven three to make the podium. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Maybe you need a dressel to go faster. I agree, Grant. I totally, that's what I was thinking. Mm. But I mean, he can't be the great meeting he's having. And, you know, he's really a breakthrough and star to be watched. And Paris is going to be looking two, good. Yeah, two world titles. I mean, that's phenomenal. Maxime Grusset Silver, 47 6, called it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just clap yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so you're giving it the respect it deserves. It's a world championship medal, but let's, you got to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I'd say, come on, you go 47 1 in the semi. I want to, you know, I want to see some heat here in the final. Dude, we, I mean, he's 17. I, I still want to see, I want to see heat. He's got his driver's license. He can do this. <laughs> You don't know that he has his driver's license. That's it could be different in Romania. In Romania, you get your driver's license when you're 12. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Do they <laughs> even drive in Romania? I, I was going to say, maybe they bike. Who knows? Yeah. They're probably way greener than we are. At the <laughs> so what, how did Brooks, what did Brooks touch? Brooks, fifth. He was fifth at 48 double O. Hmm. I, this is this is my takeaway. Everybody is depressed because Dressel wasn't there. Every every single he summer that he the wind like, out of everyone's sails. Everyone's everyone loves Dressel because he's such a he sweetheart, and they feel bad for him. And they're like, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's my analysis. Well, you said it's yeah. trending on Twitter. Everybody's disappointed. Yeah, that's a real bummer. But um. Two world titles for David Popovich. That's my takeaway. Yeah, yeah. That, that's one of me. So that's a good question. So, um, you know, Caitlin, what does it do for your brain when you have success when you're young? What? How does it change you? Honestly, I think when for me when I was young, I mean, I made my first Olympic team when I was 17. I was kind of oblivious to it all and just thought that's how things happened and everything just kind of rolled. I don't want to say easy, but at that age for me. It, I worked really hard, but it came pretty easy. It wasn't until I got older and the aches and pains and, and the yardage and, and yeah, your mind starts with you a little bit too. So I would say when you're 17, life is good. <laughs> like have success at a young age. It's like, I'm working hard and this is what's happening. And for me, it was like ignorance was bliss. And then as you get older and the expectation and the more that you are getting, don't get me wrong. I mean, everything's better with experience, but but also things appear too a little bit. So I think 17, roll with it. When I'm looking at summer and I'm looking at all these young sports are coming up, it's like, enjoy it, really enjoy it. Life is good, good. <laughs> when you're 17. 17. <laughs> quote, that's my quote for the day. <laughs> it's so, you know, when, I love it. When you're young, you're just, you're, I, I think you're just reacting. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're living in the moment and you're reacting. And I think the older you get as an elite, the more you get in your head. And then you're, you're ruminating and you're always battling yourself. And it yeah. seems like that's sort of the trajectory. I agree. And, you re and, and too, like just on the, the physical side, you recover a lot quicker. Um, you have that going for you. Um, and I think too, like when you're that young, you usually have like a lot of other distractions in your life. Like for me, I was like in high school and I was involved in school and it wasn't just swimming, swimming, swimming. And, and that gets in your head too, as you get older and you're swimming as a professional, like, oh my gosh, this is my livelihood. And when you're swimming, you're 17, you're like, I'm a kid. Like I'm in school. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm getting my driver's license, you know, stuff like that. So the whole mental game changes too, as, as you get older. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, so we're seeing that the European driving age is 18 on another note. So that's good. So yeah, maybe not. Stop it. Janelle, you're Stop wrong. it. I live Wait, to prove you wrong. Okay. So we have, um, I just saw Catherine Burkhoff. She paraded a few minutes ago. And uh, of course she's American record holder in this event. Her PB American record 27, one, two. 
if she does well here, we're gonna we're gonna ding, we're gonna we're gonna text somebody and see if they'll drop in for us. Oh, fun! Really fun, guys. I hate to do this, and I really want to see Cody, but my driver's coming shortly, so I have to head to the airport. And I want to say thank you so so much for coming out. It's a huge honor to be included back. Um, wishing you guys a wonderful rest of the viewing party and the rest of the week. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. Thank you. Yeah. Talk to him. I'm bummed I missed him, and then I, I miss him and go DCT. <laughs> <laughs> go Tridents. <clears throat> All right. Just um, you and me now. I'm, 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 I'm think, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of I'm, I'm, I'm my, it's, hard, it's hard for me to sit here and watch this without thinking of my old teammate, David Burkhoff, with his, with his daughter in the water. I think that's so oh, I think that's so funny that he's like, yeah, I'm not going to watch my daughter. It doesn't do her any good. I'm going to go hiking. <laughs> I, th I think I think it's really stressful. You have no control. It's her career. It's not his career. It's just, you know, he's he's, he's respecting that journey. Here we go. We're and in. We're especially in. if you have a child as as an elite. Um, yeah, seems like he's he's balanced that quite well. Uh, Burkoff looks pretty good. Everyone's kind of all in a pack. Just a second. Oh, it's my streams. Uh, I'm ahead of you, buddy. She she she, she she just she just, she just captured the world silver. Freaking Burkoff. Good for her. Good for Kylie Moss. That's awesome. Twenty-seven, three-one. She got a world title. Yeah, she's. I mean, she is yeah. such a stalwart star for Canada. Always yeah. in the mix. One of the greatest of all time. I think you need to text Mr. Burkoff. Because uh, his daughter just won a silver medal at her first World Champs. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait and get her times just so I can let him know how, she, cool. how fast she went. David was sick, and the doctor sent him to swimming. What a so, crazy uh, story. She was a 27.39. His daughter, yeah, 27.39. Wow, that was a tight heat. Less than two tenths between first and sixth. Uh, Kylie was what? How fast? At twenty-seven, what? One, Thirty-one. Twenty-seven, thirty-one. Six. Well, it was a tie for fifth with Reagan and Kaylee McEwen. Twenty-seven, forty-seven. Wow. Point one six between first and sixth. That's kind of crazy, everyone. I think that's kind of crazy. You know what? It's um, she had a she had a tough trials. Uh, that was that was there was we were sitting on the front row, twenty five meter line at, at U.S. trials for the Olympics. Who had a tough trials? Then no, uh, Burkoff. And uh, so it and it's and she's Olympic trials. Yeah, you got to specify, dude. We've we've had a trials since then. Sorry about the, the Olympic trials. I'm sorry. He was just he was sitting two seats down from me next to Janet Evans watching his kids swim. And he's like, you know what? It's okay. She's resilient. She loves what she's doing. She's excited. You know, college swimming means a whole lot to her. And uh, it was, I was was excited to see what happened at team trials because that was a step up, American record. And now that she's got a world championship silver medal. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully, That's hopefully, right. maybe David will drop in and say hello. She's having a good progression, um, especially she won an NCAA title in 49-7 in the 100 back last year. And then this year, she backs it up with a 48-7, <laughs> a full second faster. First woman ever to break 49 seconds in the 100-yard yeah. back. It's just like that was, that was big time. Um, you could tell that she was in a good place. Well, just to let just to let just to let viewers know, we were um, we were David was my teammate in eighty eight ninety two. Um, super good guy, just a cool guy. Went to Harvard, a uh, lot of fun. You know, when he would make the national team, you'd always get excited because you didn't necessarily like everybody, but like there's certain people you liked. You're like, oh, this could be a good team. And David was on the team. And uh, so anyway, he's hiking in Big Bear right now, and we called him this morning and said, hey, we'll check in with you. He's hiking in Big Bear. He checked in with us right before we started the stream to uh, to see if it his phone worked out out in the mountains, and it did. <laughs> and he's he's you know hiking at eight thousand feet, and uh, he was having a good time and enjoying himself. And um, yeah, he's a cool guy. Okay, we have we have uh, one person 
saying that I need to be on pool deck as the NBC interviewer. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now that would never work because I'm not mainstream enough for NBC. They'd make me cut my hair. They'd make me cut my rat tail and I'm not going to do that. Uh, they make me take out my nose rings and uh, it, it just, it, it wouldn't be a healthy relationship for either of us. So what did I, what did I appreciate I, what, the comment, but what did I, what did I say to you? The, the first time you were, you were working for us and your hair was down the middle of your back, your beard was huge. What did I tell you? You were like, do I have to cut my hair? What did I say? <laughs> you were like, I want you to grow your hair longer. I want you to grow your beard out and put beads in it. <laughs> Because and and I but what I said was I want them to see you coming. Oh. But no one saw this coming. We got David Burkoff. <laughs> he might be he might be lagging a little bit. Oh, the hey, elevation's buddy. too high. Can we hear you, David? Uh oh. You Can you hear, hear him? him? I can't hear him. I can't hear him either. We can't we can't hear you. We can't hear you, bud. <clears throat> You got to remember everyone. He's hiking in Big Bear. He's hiking in Big Bear. 10,000 feet at this point. The now he's talking about The service is shaky. Uh oh. We got another guest. Jake Foster. Jake Foster. What's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys? We're doing good, good. man. Did you did you see the hundred free and fifty back finals? Yeah, I did. I was just watching all that. It's been pretty interesting, I think so far. I figured I figured Popovich would win, but I thought he I thought he would be a little bit faster. But he I, I, he's still got so much room to improve. I think. Yeah, especially after that forty-seven one semis. We've got David Burkoff here. His daughter just won a silver medal in the fifty back, but we can't hear him probably because. Probably because he's at 10,000 feet. He's given a thumbs up for Catherine Burkoff's silver medal, though. <laughs> Still can't hear you. We can't, can't hear you. <laughs> Jake, Jake, do you know who David Burkoff is? You're young. Yes. You probably weren't born. You weren't born when he was. When I he know was who David Burkoff else. is. <laughs> I, I'm friends oh. with Catherine. We, we went to Fiji for Junior Pampex on the same trip in 2018. That's All right, awesome. that checks out. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> that checks out. Um, you've been, uh, you've probably been on junior teams with like half the world's team at this point. Is that fair to say? Either, yeah, either teams or camps. Uh, a good portion of them I've overlapped with. So it's, it makes it more fun because I get to see a lot of the people that like I'm personally friends with on like the world stage. Which is, I don't know. It makes it more personal, I guess. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what 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 did you make of Carson's four oh six? Did you think that was coming? Did you see that from yeah, a mile away? I, that kind of swim has been coming for a while. I think for him, like I knew he was he went four oh nine at um, the uh, international team trials, and I figured that like his ceiling was higher than that. Um, and I think it was just a matter of getting a real like because we were coming off of an NC's rest and then going straight into the a, a world's trials rest and mm -hmm. i felt like just like kind of like having some more time to train between the two and then readjust for the next uh next uh meet helped him a lot um but i think he's i mean even in the future i think him and leon is going to be a good good battle okay. can, can david will this david will you nod if you can if you if you can hear us he can we, hear can't us. Hear, we can't we can, hear him. We can't hear I him. Can hear him earlier. <clears throat> yeah, can't hear him. So we will. We're just gonna have to. We're gonna. We're just gonna have to see your your happy face and and know that you're happy for for your kid winning their, their winning their their silver medal in the in the, at the world championships. Seriously, you're having a boomer moment happening. now. This is a very boomer moment. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Great. <laughs> all right. Let's let we go. We're gonna pop off because we can't. We can't hear you. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Uh, so Jake, we got Carson's two IM coming up, mm -hmm. um, which is gonna be a big. Oh, I'm sorry. First of all, you have so many teammates. 
Um, in I know. I figured this was a good session to join because of all the teammates I've got swimming. It's a great session to join. So first of all, Charlie Swanson, he's third seed in the tuna breast. Um, you probably get to do a lot of breaststroke work with Charlie on a daily yep. basis. I do. And then Casper is second seed. So I have two training partners in the top three. Um, uh, yeah, I do. They it's our breaststroke group uh, for the past year has been me, Charlie, uh, Casper and Willa Cohn. So it's been really good uh, to have that many talented breaststrokers all in one place pushing each other. And I think it's made us all better because of it. Um, and it like kind of goes, I, I feel like mainly the two people that usually win are Casper and Will, but it's been good to push me and Charlie along. Uh, <laughs> that's funny that you say that. The, the t so uh, it, at team trials, did you, you know, was, I think Charlie kind of uh, came onto everyone's radar in a, in a surprising fashion. What did you make yeah. of his swim when he kind of, when he finally did pass Will and yeah. get second for that team? I mean, it, I mean, he's been really good in training all year, but like it kind of a little bit surprised me too. Um, and I was so happy for him though, because he's a great guy, um, a lot of fun to train with. Um, and I didn't realize he had that kind of out speed until he was out in one oh one oh right next to me. Um, and then later he went double oh oh, so that also is like I was like, dang, he's pretty good at, tr at sprinting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the whole group gets along really well. Like, I mean, like sometimes I feel like when you've got like an intense training group like that, it can get a little bit like you know, hostile, but I, I feel like everyone in the brush shirt group is like nobody's it's all kind of chill laid back a little bit yeah i mean that that seems that, that seems good for sure i know yeah. we've we've talked to people who are like oh yeah like they can only train together so many times a week because yeah. otherwise they'd like you know they'd, they'd kill each other or they'd kill themselves going head to head so many times <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah um so we got is that is that casper no sorry so Casper we got the tuna breast. Casper should be now. heat two, I think, and Charlie will be heat one in lane four. Okay. So we got start list here. Let's see. So Ca oh, Casper's heat one lane four. Well, this isn't updated though, I guess, because Arno is out. Oh, really? Uh, Arno is out with illness, I guess. So huh. Casper's country countryman, um, fellow Dutchman yeah is is out with illness as reported by us but um i'm glad casper is still in yeah um what do you make of this 200 breast semi-final um what do you think it's going to take to make the final because the semis weren't you know especially fast no i think i think 208 should make finals like if we see like any of the guys go 208 mid ish I feel like that should be pretty pretty good to make it. Um, it'll be weird to see what strategy works, though, because I feel like with the two breath now, there's kind of like two ways to swim it. There's either the way where you can swim it like Matt Fallon or uh, Zach Stubbley Cook, where you just like hang back and then just roar on at the end. Or you can just fly out the front, which is kind of how Casper and Charlie do it a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And just try to hold on for as long as you can. So I'll be interested to see whether there's more of the guys that do it the first way or the second way to make the final. That's a, that's a really great point, especially because we, you know, Zach Stubbley cook has obviously had so much success recently yeah. um, that I'm curious if more people are going to start to take that approach, yeah. uh, kind of back halfing it. Mm -hmm. Um did you talk about did you, you talked about Kaminga at the very beginning of this? What what do we know what's going on? We know it's an illness, but that's all we know right now. Um, we don't really know what the deal is in terms of why he pulled out, besides that it's medical. All right. They're in the water on my stream. Dang, you're ahead of yeah, me. You're you're really far ahead. <laughs> That's how it goes here. It's a VIP telecast from my house. Dude, I'm on the same stream. <laughs> I'm on the, they're just about to, to start for me. Oh, I refreshed mine, and I think I'm 
Now, tell me when they turn on yours at the 50. They're, t they're at the 50 for me right now. The touched 29, 29, 12 out. Yep. Yeah. Cat. So Casper, yeah, I mean, he looks relaxed, but he, he's, he's pretty strong. He looks pretty strong going out. Yeah. I'm hoping he can get a good swim in here. He's capable of so much in this event. Um, I mean, that makes sense, especially seeing how, uh, how he's swum at NCAAs. I mean, he had such a great season this year. Mm -hmm. He was just super consistent from start to finish and was, um, was going times all season, really. I mean, 50 points, 150 points, like pretty consistently. Yeah, his his IMs came a long way this, this season. I still think that he's capable of more in the two breasts and 100. If he, he just needs to find a good race to do it. Um, mm hmm because he's definitely a sub-150 breaststroker, even though he hasn't done it yet. I roomed with breaststrokers all throughout my career, but after five decades in this sport, I still don't understand what breaststroke is. <laughs> what, Jake, from your perspective, what is, like, when you're warming up for a 200 breast, what, mm -hmm. what are you paying attention to, to? What are you looking for to be like, okay, I need to get this in order or this in line? Um. In general, like I'll know that my brush shirk is hitting if like I can like do a 50 and take like less strokes than I would in like a 200 pace and have it be like at my 200 gold time pace, you know? So I'm like mm -hmm. being very efficient with each stroke. And if I'm not efficient with each stroke, that means usually something's not clicking and I need to like do some more drills or something like that to readjust what my stroke is feeling like. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry. I think our stream went down just for a sec there. I think we're back. Uh, heat one's over. Yep. I can't say I know who won. Casper, Casper got third. I saw that. Okay. Uh, someone from Japan. I haven't, I haven't heard. He went 287. So it might be a little slower to make it back than I thought. Gotcha. Uh, I can't say that surprises me. Japan certainly has a history oh yeah you hana garuma hana garuma what a name oh or ryuya mura japan had two in that heat it looked like hana garura i think i guess we'll see right now yeah so rohan, I'm, I'm with you rohan you said 208 is considered average now yes that that is mind blown 208 feels and that's that's incredible yeah um, I mean, I feel like Zach, Zach Stubbley Cook has kind of blown the door open in terms of what's possible in this event. Um, I wish, I wish Leon would have swum it. Yeah, I was, I was like, is he going to try to do like the, the, this quadruple of four IM, two IM, two breasts, two fly, but I yeah. can't say I blame him for only picking three of those events. No. Yeah. I don't blame him either. <laughs> I, uh, I did the double with the two breasts, two I am at trials, and it was not fun. <laughs> How did that go for you? A two breast was fine. It was, I mean, it wasn't great. Um, I think it was just mostly because I was really nervous. And I, I mean, like, there was just like a big field and like pretty, a pretty old field too, like a lot of like pretty veteran people. So I was like, I was just kind of going into it to have fun. And then refocusing for the two I am, my body just like at that point, was like kind of hurting. So I did the best I could, but I, I don't, I don't think I was that close to making it since the final. I mean that, yeah, that sounds like a, a pretty hard double. I can't, I can't believe Leon's double and how he handled that one yesterday. Yeah, I know. Uh, mm -hmm. Meddling in the two fly with a one fifty three three, and then getting top seed in the two IM with a one fifty five seven. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I mean that both French records, both obviously personal best for him. It's like, dude, save some for the rest of us. <laughs> Somebody's messing with you out there. Jake's lipstick is beginning to fade. What's going on, buddy? What's who's, who's that? You know who that is. I, I think I do. I don't know if I can say that. It <laughs> call him out. Call him out. I think, it, I think I think it's Adam Cheney. 
He he sent me. He, you guys posted the thing yesterday, and he DM'd it to uh, to me. And he's like, "That's you in the picture." <laughs> I don't know. Adam though. Cheney. It, it might not be, but I think it might be Adam Cheney. He said he said Listen. he commented he was going to use a fake name. Now I'm calling him out. He's probably going to be mad. Adam, <laughs> if you want to come on, you just DM us, and we can we can have a. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm blanking on you guys' town and your club team. Mason, Cincinnati. Mason, we can have a Mason Manta Rays watch party. I'm totally down with that. I wonder what Ken's doing right now. Ken, Ken would he's come on, right? I, he's definitely watching uh, Worlds, I mean, for Carson, because Carson's up, like, next. Um, yeah. I don't know whether he's on this stream, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'm, I, was, I was so pleasantly surprised at NCAA's how much of a troll Adam Cheney was in the media room. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, how it is. Every, every time someone would ask him a question, he'd give like some, some snide remark <laughs> and it, it made the media room a much, much better place. We like yeah. that. That's good. We want you bring, yeah. bring it, man. <laughs> hey, Co was, Cody Miller, if you're out there, you're missing the breaststroke. We were promised a Cody appearance. But that's okay. He, I think he's going to come on at some point. He said he might come on today. He said he might come on tomorrow. Cody's nice. coming eventually. Um, we had Caitlin Sandino on earlier today, and she just sent me this picture of. Oh, I don't know if it's going to show up now. Uh oh. Is our stream freezing? She just sent me this picture of her. Wow, too big, buddy. Being one year old. Here we go. It's scrolling. This is like 1999 web. Oh, no. That's Caitlin Sandino at the 1984 Olympics. She's one year old. Pretty adorable. All right. We're going to take that off, though. I guess that's slowing down the stream. Sorry if you're watching out there. I think we're back now. Yeah, you got to check those file sizes, buddy. Uh, I'm 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 coming up on the on the the, the hundred meter. Yeah, we're on world record pace. No way. That's no surprise. <laughs> close. close. <laughs> yeah, do you? What was his? Let's see. What what was he out in 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 his world record? He was out in one oh one eight, which is not not what you would expect. That's not what I'd expect, at least. No, I mean like he because he brings it home so fast. Like, it's like he turns up speed, which is so hard to do in breaststroke. Mm -hmm. Why, why is that from your perspective, at least, why is it so hard to turn, to rev it up in breaststroke? I think it's, I mean, like, I feel like it's because breaststroke is like the least efficient stroke of all four. Like a majority of your body is like under the water. And so like the way that Will talks about it with me is like, especially in short course, you're trying to maintain the walls and the momentum that you get off the walls because that's the fastest point in the race. And when you're in long course, there's not as many walls. So you're just kind of like in the middle of the pool, just trying to go um, with an inefficient way to swim. So makes it a little bit hard to pick it up, but he's doing it again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 2067 to just 267 solid. totally crush the field. <laughs> Someone said, 2055 with a better start. <laughs> Ow. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a, he, he doesn't look that tired, but that's a really solid swim. Uh, <laughs> I love that you just pointed out that breaststroke's just inefficient. It's just not a yeah. fast way to swim. It's the reason it's the slowest, like if you look at the times, the slowest times. Yeah because you're just underwater so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone should tell frogs this. It's like, guys, you got to find a better way to, to swim, buddy. Maybe, maybe <laughs> that way. Years, years ago, we did an April Fool's report, and it was my idea. And the April Fool's <laughs> report was that FINA and the United States Swimming have come together with other governing bodies and decided that appropriately, breaststroke is no longer going to be a part of the competitive lineup and, but and because it's not a real stroke to begin with, 
but that no worries, artistic swimming is going to step up and take breaststroke, which is where it should have belonged, where it should have been all along. <laughs> and people lost their minds. They were so mad. April Fools. A lot of breaststrokers <laughs> probably mad. A lot of breaststrokers <laughs> are mad, but that's their problem. Yeah. It's like, come on, you didn't see this coming? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be nine mid to make it back. Let's see. So a little slower than yeah, what we may nine. have expected. Yeah. But here we go. We've got a, got him pulled up. <clears throat> but yeah, it looks like Nick Fink was seventh. Uh, Charlie was 11th with a 9.8. Mm -hmm. Oof. Um, Yu Hanagaruma. Dude, the Japanese just continue to churn out breaststrokers. Um, but again, Zach Subbly Cook was 6'7, second, Anton McKee, 8'7. So, yeah, a little surprising with the depth there. I would have thought that a f at least a few more guys would have been under under that 209 mark. Um, and then we've got Matthew Wilson, who's the former world record holder. He was a 2066 at 2019 Worlds. He he's 15 at 211.4. Yeah. He looks like he fell off a little bit towards the end. Yeah. I mean he was out strong but then yeah 329, 34 2, 35 2 coming home. Mm -hmm. That's surprising to see. Talk 200 IM. I'm excited for this one. Carson looked great. So, I mean, he's obviously who I've got my money on. A little bit biased, I'm, though. <laughs> I'm very excited to see this head to head once again uh, mm -hmm. with Carson and Leon. Chase is right next to Carson. Dude, Tom Dean is right next to Chase, 200 free Olympic champion. Matt Sates. The young up and cover is right next to him. Diaceto is right. I mean, this heat is loaded. It is a loaded heat. Um, so Nathan, Nathan Adrian yesterday was like, all right, world record watch for this 200 IM. I don't see it. I do not see the world record going down. Jake, do you think there's even a slight chance that anyone could break Lochte's world record in this? I think that it'll it'll get broken eventually. I don't know whether it'll be here just because Leon might be getting, I mean, like he's human. So he might be getting tired uh, at this point. Cause he's done two, four AMs, two, two flies or three, two flies and two, two IMs, which is a lot. Um, so I'm sure he'll get down maybe close to breaking 155 uh, in that range, but I'm not sure whether it'll get broken at this meet. We'll see yeah. though. Uh, it feels like we're in the in the Foster Marshawn era, like when we write the swimming history books for this era. Mm -hmm. This is going to be their era. It's going to be the. It's and I, I feel like this is their chunk in history. A lot of ink is going to be written about them. A lot of media is going to pass. But um, yeah. just, I just, I'm just out of curiosity. After that 400 IM, um, you know, that was a big moment. That was a big breakthrough moment. Now, how, how were you feeling about it? We were pumped. We had uh, like kind of a watch party back here. For, like a lot of the guys on the, we knew Carson had like a big swim coming because we, I mean, we trained with him. So we know how fast he is. Um, so we had uh, like most of the team came over and uh, I made like hot dogs and burgers. And we just kind of like had our TV in the living room set up with Carson's swim. And um, we were pumped about how he swam like i mean like 406 is like a crazy crazy fast time and like e like Car that's a two second drop from carson's previous best so it's kind of a breakout even though he's already like at an elite level so just everyone was like just really happy for him there's i mean even there's though he even, got it, you can't complain about it because it's just like oh no you know, no silver the world the world championship silver medal mm -hmm. uh you know this is this is the first a team First step up for Team USA on the A squad mm -hmm. to come away with hardware and a, and a PB then and a really big drop. I'm just going to say if that if the World Championships have been in Austin, might have been a 402. <laughs> well, he's swimming. I think he's swimming sectionals uh, 
after he gets back. And that's the, that's the meet where he went 408. So, <laughs> we'll dude, freaking Austin sectionals! Like something crazy <laughs> always happens at that meet. Yeah, I know. I think I think that's the meet he's planning on ending his season with. So, I, I think that's like that's like July like seventh through eleventh or something like that. Breaking news. Jay Foster break, does the breaking news for Swim Swam. That's big news, buddy. You just broke it here. I know. I hope it wasn't a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it not. might have been a secret. I don't, do I don't, I don't know. know. Like, the sectionals. Um, what, I mean, we see swims, fast swims out of the UT pool so often. Uh, Jake, for you, what makes that pool so special and so easy to be able to get up and swim fast in? I... I think part of it is just like, it's just like built for fast swimming. Like even though it was built in like the seventies, it's got like certain, it's like just the right depth for good swimming. They keep it at just the right temperature so that the water's not like, like when it's too hot, it feels like it's kind of like, like syrupy. And if it's too cold, it's like, you can't really get moving. Um, but I feel like that is really good. Like the way that they shape the gutters makes it so there's not a lot of like splashing in. So I felt like it's built for fast swimming and also just like we're so used to training there all the time that it like it's just kind of like just run back what you do in training and you'll be fine. Do they do that? Is it like 78? To me, that was always kind of the, the sweet spot for water temp. Oh, yeah, I think it's I honestly don't know the exact water temp. It, I would say it's around 78 probably it's not okay. it doesn't feel warm it feels pretty cold which is a good thing we're, we're, we're in commercial right now before we come up and you get quick quick rapid question you're right. in austin buddy where, where, where do you eat which what's your what's your what's your big spot recently it's been el cholito um it's uh yeah do you know what el cholito is oh yeah yeah oh yeah i love el cholito yeah. i'll get like their they have all day breakfast tacos they're so good. And they're open to like, um, surprisingly, there's not a ton of late night food options in Austin. Um, yeah. Or at least maybe comparatively. Uh, but El Cholito's open till I think midnight because I've gotten off a few late flights um, when I get back to Austin and I'll get in at, you know, 11, 1130 and be like, El Cholito, they're open. <laughs> yeah, it's easy too because I live like a block away from it um so i can just like get in my car and like go right up there and get something quick it's usually like my like sunday for lunch meal i look forward to it yeah they have they have tacos they have burritos yeah uh yeah it's good stuff i good love show. this comment so. the pool still has joseph schooling's presence <laughs> it does he still has a record he has 100 fly uh pool record and team we, record. It's one of the two. We, we went to, where did we go? We went to some steakhouse and had like tomahawk ribeyes that were like this big with the bone that was like this long. It was huge. It was like, it was like 40 ounces of steak. <laughs> and so I'm eating it and he's like saying, you got to finish Mel. And I, so I'm like, I can't finish. So he finishes his, I have to finish mine. It's like a 40 day wet aged tomahawk ribeye steak. About three in the morning, I thought I was going to die because I'd eaten too much food. And he had he was competing like that next weekend, and I was like, "Oh my god!" We went to dinner, and I made him. He, we got a bad steak. I made him sick. He's like, "I'm like, man, did you get sick?" He goes, "No, nah, I didn't get sick. Did you get sick? What are you a wimp?" <laughs> you get used to it after a while, I guess. <laughs> you put away a lot of steak. It was a saying. Not only not an Olympic gold medalist, but a gold medalist eating steak. Yeah. We're still my, in commercial. What's going on? Commercial. My uh my favorite Joe schooling experience was I went to so like we had basically since Tokyo or sorry, I'm sorry, since Rio, he hadn't done a lot of media and we like it was it was the fall of two thousand eighteen. So it was the or maybe it was yeah, it was the fall of 2018. So he had finished his college career. We had been trying to track him down forever. And he, you know, he just, I don't think he wanted to do a lot of media. And um, he finally was like, yeah, I'm going to be at the pool on this Friday morning. You can, you can come and I'll sit down with you for five minutes. And he was like, okay, I'm coming. So I go to the UT pool 
on a, fr on a Friday morning in like October. And it's like him and Jack Conger and like maybe one or two other people. And they're kind of like piddle paddling in the dive well, like doing doing a cool one or two thousand warm up. And I'm like, all right, this is cool. And uh, and then they're like, the whoever was coaching was like, all right, what are we doing? And they're like, we're gonna do a hundred fly off the blocks and call it a day. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, righteous. Yeah. And um, so they get up on the blocks, and Joe like looks at me. He's like, hey Coleman, you can record this, but don't put it on swim swim. And it's like okay deal so this has never been on swim swim but i think i think i can talk about it the video I, we have the video somewhere but true to my word have never posted it to swim swim but so him and jack get up on the blocks they go 100 fly for time after doing like i don't know 2000 warm-up or whatever in speedos 46 sevens dang like just just like like it's nothing i'm just like those two I, I they were before my time on the team but i've heard they're like ultra competitive with one another like they would just like be like yelling at each i wasn't here for it but the rest of the team talks about it well at practice like when jack, when you know schooling would do something and jack would look at him and just go he would scowl like he you know it was he would just be like he would do schooling <laughs> he'd <Yeah>. be loud <laughs> yeah and jack would just be like yeah i've yeah, heard stories well, about yeah. sam pomayevich would when he came in as a freshman, like kind of like did the typical freshman thing where he like goes pretty fast and like the old guys were like, what, what's up with that? And, like gave him like a really hard time. But like, if you know, Sam, he's like the type of guy that just like sits there and like doesn't say anything about it. He just kind of takes it. <laughs> All right. We, we, we got to let you enjoy your brother swim. Um, are you nervous? I can't, I can't imagine. I've never, had a, I've never had a sibling. I've never had a sibling in this experience. Wait, what's this like for you? I, I was really nervous for the 4 a.m. just because I wasn't – I mean, like, it's the first swim of a meet, you know. But he's swimming super well right now, so now I feel like I'm more excited just because I know he's capable. He's, I feel like he's capable of doing something really cool in this. It's just a matter of if he can execute properly, which I know what? he can because he's been doing it all meet. What, okay, do you, so what, have, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? What are you looking for? Like what, you know, I think he, I want to see him out similar to how he was, uh, in the semis, he was like four, nine, which was good. And then he had a really solid backstroke. So he should be leading at the hundred. And then it's a matter of if he can stay within like probably like half a body length of Leon going into the breaststroke turn. Cause the difference maker that I've noticed between him and Leon is that freestyle turn where Leon just goes underwater for like 10 meters and pops up. Like then he's like almost a full body like the head of Carson. But I think Carson is capable of catching him because Carson's developed as like a really good freestyler too. Now mm -hmm. he, he wanted to swim the four free at the international team trials, but the timing for worlds didn't work out because four free and four am were on the same day. But I, he's really good at freestyle, so I think he's capable of making a move there. I remember him talking about that. And say, okay, sorry. He's he is out first. Oh dang, you're ahead funny. of me. <laughs> oh, okay, twenty four six four. Yeah, twenty four six out. So he looks good. He's, he's really he's good. He's going for it. Dang, he looks really him. good. Shout out what he goes for me because I'm I'm way behind. They haven't even they haven't even jumped in yet. Okay. Well, he's he's hugging the world record line right now. <laughs> his his hand going over the world record line. World record yeah. line. He's he's under world record pace by nine one hundredths. Uh, Leon is 0.7 behind him at the hundred. Okay, hey, that's good. Yeah, so he's he looks strong. Holy Moses. Whoa. He I Leon might be gaining a little bit, but he is pulling away from everyone else. So Leon okay, Leon's gaining. But I mean, him, he's, he's looking good. Let's get the 150. Right. Oh man. They're, they're getting to the 150. The field's starting to catch him a little bit. He's, he's second at the wall. Uh, Leon was 27, one at the 150. Looks like Leon's kind of pulled away, but Carson is still in it. 
Okay. He might be catching Leon. Carson's in his pocket. Carson's on his hip. Carson is chasing yeah. him down. Carson's he's, reeling him in. He's, he's reeling, reeling him in. in. He's closing. I don't, I don't think he's going to get him, but he's close. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. 55-2 for Leon first, Carson second. Carson Where'd he go? Second. How close yeah, was it? It had, it had to have been 155. Hold on, I got it right here. Carson 55-7. So he's half a second nice. behind. That's 55-7. That's a, that's a great swim. I'm on the breaststroke now, so I'm seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, him, let, him, let him watch. Let, call, call, I'll just talk to you, Coleman. Uh, yeah, I'm, so, so, I'm so sorry I was behind on the stream. That was exciting. You got you to enjoy that I excitement. Know, you're going to the freestyle, and Leon's doing that thing underwater like I told you he would. Yeah. I mean, his his last turn is is Phelpsian. It makes me wonder yeah. what Bob is. He needs to use how, it because it's such a strength. So I can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm just jealous. I can't do that. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> but the, we, you, here's the thing: we got, the, we got there's two silver medals, two great swims. This is a this is successful World Championships. This is a big step mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, that was great. I just finished. That was really good. So we got a comment saying, oh, Carson was awesome, which which he was. Uh, we got another comment, sorry, uh, saying Leon's got to be out faster if he wants to be beat that 154, which sure, that's fine. But I'm not so sure Leon's goal today was to break a world record. I think it was to win his third medal and second I am world title. Um, I don't think the name of the game today was breaking that world record. Mm -hmm. uh, you got Hit your volume if you want to hear the interview. Go ahead. That's fine with us. Yeah, I might I might do that. Absolutely. Yeah, he, he's talking to Nick right now, so um, do it. So yeah, it's but, gonna be coming up soon. You wanna see that? Yeah, and Daya beat out Chase on the freestyle again by a hair for that bronze medal, which is the same thing that happened in semis. Daya just got the best of Chase on the freestyle leg to to get that third seed. Um, Chase had a good race, fifty six four. Not not. That, that's actually not far off his best. He's been fifty five nine, I think. Commenters, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that seems pretty good for Chase. I think the most interesting thing I'm hearing is that that um, Carson can do a four hundred meter free. And, and and has has the background to, to and considering. Hey, I'd like to pop a four hundred meter free shaven. Yeah, he did it. He did it last summer. I think he's on the national team for it um, this year. He was top six. Um, he did a uh, three hundred free off the block on one of our like fast Fridays and like just suited up for it. It was like just like it was between uh, NCAA's and uh, World Trials and went a. I think he was three or 248 on a 300 free um splitting it like 54 57 57 so wow. and he looked like he was like had like a bunch left because he got out and was like that was really good and <laughs> eddie's like eddie wanted him to swim for free but the timing just didn't work out so eddie eddie loves two things he loves 400 i am 400 free but he loves 300s in practice, 300s in time in practice. <laughs> yeah, Every time I show up, it's like, no, come to the pool. And they do 300s for time. Okay. <laughs> 75s and 300s. Yeah. I mean, it's gotten to the point where you got – there's two Eddie Reese invites per season. Is that right? It honestly feels like more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there hasn't been as many this long course season, but in the short course season, we do quite a few Eddie Reese invites, I feel like. This year we did at least. Yeah. And you I feel like I'm remembering them because they were like so painful. <laughs> you listen well, to that's interview. because for you, what did Car Eddie well, Carson, said. Carson said in his interview that he was like, they asked him if like he was happy about his swims for, so far. And Carson was like, yeah, I'm super happy about how it's all going. And they said, and he went on to say, like, I'm going to celebrate the second place for now, but the next goal is to be on top. So, I, and he's got the relay tomorrow too, so that's exciting. That'll be good. I feel like the U.S. should be pretty good at what good for winning that one. 
hopefully. What was he? He was third at team trials, right? Yeah, he was third. Mm -hmm. 145 eight. 145. I think he was like in the in the prelims, he was like six or something. Five it was mid. It wasn't high, I'm pretty sure. It was mid. Yeah, I think that's right. But um yeah. To, to recognize this comment, did Wong Shun just bomb semis? What we were hearing, so defending Olympic champion in the 200 IM, he was 150 00 in Tokyo to win gold last summer. We heard the commenters were saying that he had a knee injury this fall and he was still coming back from that. Uh, so there we go. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh, so we have two special guests right now. Cody Miller. What up, guys? Yeah, well, how's it going, Cody? It's good, Cody's man. coming to uh, us from his from, from the dark corner of his room. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I've got there's a lot happening in my house right now. There's like three sets of people doing stuff, so I can't be in my office. I can't be. I'm sorry. Yeah, can you barely see me? I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. We can we can hear you. We can see you and hear you. Maybe I turn this light on. Can see and hear you. We've got David Burkoff back. I don't yeah. think we can hear David though. Can you hear me yet? We can hear can David hear Burkoff. Oh. We can hear you. Uh, you can hear me. We can hear you, buddy. What do you think? Damn. Your your daughter got a silver medal in the fifty backstroke. How are you feeling right now? I you know that's pretty amazing. Um, you know, the 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 world is so fast, and for somebody to get on on the podium at one of these meets is uh is an incredible accomplishment super proud of her that's that, i mean that's great insight to have we actually there was just the medal ceremony so we just saw her get that 50 back silver um but yeah. you know mel was talking about how he he was right behind you or above you at olympic trials last summer um and how do you feel like she rebounded from not making that olympic team to this year just having having a lot of success in the pool um you know i think she learned a lot from that experience uh you know i think she's still transitioning obviously from short course mastery to uh figuring out the long pool you know it took me probably two years to figure it out after i'd set my or won my first uh uh, or made my first NCA finals. I got third in my sophomore year. And then, um, you know, I went 56 long course at, from a 48 short course. And, um, you know, and then I took a year off after winning uh, my, my junior year and really learned how to swim long course. And, and I think she's still in that process. She's figured out the 50 pretty well. Um, but, you know, I think there's a lot of strategy and how you, and, and race strategy and how you figure you're going to, exert yourself during a long course uh, 100 compared to a, a, long, a short course 100 where you have two turns to kind of rescue you in between. She's obviously figured out the short course thing. She's flying. Um, but I think she's a little timid still in in the, the long course venue and, and she knows it. Um, uh, so I, I think she's going to focus on that. Um, I think she was disappointed in, in, to get back to your question, in 2020, she was disappointed, obviously, or 2021. Um, and to make the world's team this year, I think is, is kind of giving her long course confidence back. Um, I'm hoping she gets a shot on a relay or something like that to just see where her hundred is comparatively. But, you know, obviously the coaches have a, a method, uh, that they're going to follow, but, you know, and res I, I respect their pick, whatever they do, but it, you know, she, to get on the podium at, at a world meet like this is, is, uh, is really amazing. It's amazing. And it's as a dad who was at the same level, I know how hard it is. And Mel can explain that till the cows come home. And I'm, I'm sure Cody could do the same thing, you know, to, um, talking about his Olympic experience, but uh, to get to this level is, is an amazing accomplishment and to get yourself on the podium at a world championships is another step. So I'm really proud. Nice. How's big bear? <laughs> well, uh, we were we were here kind of um, helping Cammy's uh, mom out a little bit. She's got some health issues, and so we needed to get out of the house and and do a hike. So we're up at about almost ten thousand feet, and uh, it's kind of fun being in in this environment at ten thousand feet and and not being able to watch your daughter swim and um, and just kind of listening to my phone blow up. So I knew something good happened, and I you know watched all the texts and then. 
Um, so it, it's a fun way to, to uh, watch the meet kind of vicariously via text. Um, frustrating a little bit, but I'll, I'll watch it on YouTube later. All right, buddy. Well, we, we appreciate you dropping in. We're coming up on the breaststroke right now, so we're yeah. going to put Cody into this conversation. I don't think totally. you can talk too too creatively about breaststroke. I'm just <laughs> just a wild hair. Well, thanks, guys. I'm gonna I'll leave you and and let you get back to it. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying your uh, your live stream. Thanks a lot. Thank you, David. Good talking, like you, buddy. It. All right, David's out. We got 200 breaststroke coming up. Uh, we reported Ray Luz said that Lily is swimming at 80 percent. 80 percent still looks pretty good on Lily right now. I don't I don't know what you're thinking, Cody, but she seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I'm really proud of her. She's uh, she's holding it together really well. She was uh, I was texting with her the other day or yesterday, and she said it was okay. I tell people, but she had COVID. She was out for like 10 days, basically. Like she was back in the water, I think three or four days before they left for camp in Budapest. And that's basically taper camp because you're there for like nine days and then you right. just start racing. And so, um, yeah, her and her boyfriend, James got, I mean, a pretty, a pretty bad case of COVID. And, um, I think she was out for close to 10 days. So she's just doing her best. And I mean, for her to like, I, I, like immediately after her fourth place finish on the hundred breast, Ray was just like, I'm just really proud of her. Cause she scratched and claw her way almost onto the metal podium. And, you know, I mean, we all know what it's four like four to away when you're not, what's that? Four one hundredths away from a bronze medal, I think. Five one hundredths. Yeah. Well, I guess okay. technically four one hundredths. I, <laughs> she texts, she's so funny, man. She texts me. She's like, you know, you missed the medal podium in 2017 by five one hundredths or by six one hundredths, and I missed it by five. So technically, I'm still better than you. <laughs> I was like, I love you so much, Lily. <laughs> it was so funny. She got me good. All right, they're on the block on my screen. They're on the blocks right now. So oh, I am real. Oh, they're she's in the, next to they're in the water nice. for me. Oh man, you're ahead of me. I got that slow <laughs> internet. She so just, she told me she just doesn't have a whole lot of speed right now. Like she she was talking to Ray and Ray was like, you just need to send it, just do it, you know. And she's like, there's it's not there. Like the speed just isn't there. But after the that mm -hmm. prelim swim, you know, I think she seated second or third. Um, that was a pretty good setup. So this is this is going to be an interesting race. Uh, I mean, so what far. Looking, what are you looking for? What are you looking yeah. for when you when you see her race? I'm Cody? looking for dis I'm looking for her distance per stroke on especially on the front half in addition to her rate. So like the combination of how fast is her rate and how much water is she covering? And right now she looks smooth. For me right now, she's midway through the second 50 and she looks long and smooth, maybe like a one four tempo. She's still out in front. She's not moving too vertically. Her shoulders are shrugged forward. Her head is in line. Right now, she looks good. Like she, I, look, I could be dead wrong. I mean, I don't know what kind of fitness she's in given where she's at, but she looks like she could actually close well because Lily King swims races so unconventionally. She's famous for the first 50, last 50, um, which she does long course. She'll go really hard the first 50 and then just chill the middle 100 and then really hard the last 50. And it really throws people off. Like, I think one of the only people in the world that's comfortable swimming next to her is Annie because she's used to swimming next to her all the time. But she just throws a wrench in a lot of people's races because she – you never know what she's going to do. I mean, she could back yeah. half. She could have a great second hundred. She could go out in world record pace the first 50. Like, you just don't know. But right now – oh, man, right? Is it that Great Brit – the girl from Great Britain? She's looking strong. Lily's still in a good spot. I don't know where you're <laughs> at on your screen, but she's turning for the 150 – Oh, now she's yeah, I'm midway football. through the last 50. Ooh. Lily uh, looks good. Lily looks good. I'm going to spoil okay. it for you a little. She's she's doing well. Um, yeah, she's, the girl from yeah, Australia she like she... has, is having a really good swim. Oh, yeah, this but... girl's killing it. That, yeah. that group of Australian girls, man, they that training squad is fire. They are, I mean, they're killing it. She's close. No kidding. They're having a great meet. But I was going to bring up that point and get your take on it because – Lily King, we've seen it so many times where she goes out fast and then kind of whatever and like lets the field catch her. And then the, her last 50, she's just like, psych, and just kills everyone. Yeah, you just um, never know how she, she never know how she's going to do it. Like she just, she does it different all the time. I, I don't know. So what yeah. was that, 222? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 222, two for the winner. Yeah, it's a, um, okay. Thank you very much. I mean, I'll never forget 
it was the FINA champion series, like at the indie pool. And, you know, it was billed because you just had four swimmers per heat and it was billed as Lily and Yulia going head to head in the 200. Yeah. Right. And it was an in season yeah. meet and Lily just seemingly willed her way to victory, you know, in, yeah. in the Indianapolis pool, she went like 221. She might have Yulia gone her best, on the that last might have been 50. her best time when she did that. Like, I think she went her lifetime best time. Maybe not, but like right. close. I remember yeah. that. That meet was really cool. Like, really, really cool. Um, but I, I mean, so her and Annie, they both have that ability to hit really close percentage-wise to their lifetime best times, like, in season. Like, Annie will go 221 at a Pro Series meet. She's done that a, a few times now. And, like, when I say they do that on absolutely no rest, no taper, I mean, abs like, everyone's like, oh, I'm not rested, I'm not tapered. I mean, seriously. Like, they did 40 100s on Tuesday afternoon, and here they are racing on Thursday, and they're going. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't, I, like, yeah. I don't understand it. Oh, yeah, her and Kate did great. That was good. Rock solid. Nice. I, I mean, for, you guys are both breaststrokers, Jake and Cody. Um, I mean, do you feel like it's easier to do something like that in breaststroke versus other strokes? Are you talking about swimming fast in season? It's swimming fast I, in season, yeah. I think it's I think it's way harder. <laughs> That's why I think it's kind of impressive. Usually when I – like, I mean, like, you saw it with Charlie. Like, Charlie went, like, 220 or something at the pro swim that he swam at right before he went 208 <laughs> at uh, International Team Trials. So it's like – And then he had to be, like – I go way slow in brush training season, and then towards the end it kind of comes together. But I guess it's because it's so much gliding, and, like, you, it's just such a, like, a – like Your a fine hips need to be stroke. up on the water. If you're not, if you're not in it, like to feel good, you're just kind of like in the dumps. It's gonna go kind of bad. But I that's mean, just my experience. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that makes sense, right? That, like you said, it's so much gliding that if your hips are are lower in the water, it's gonna make way more of a difference. Yeah, and um, if like my my kick's not snapping like it would when I'm tapering, and like. I feel like I'm more of a leg driven breaststroker than arms. So if like my kick isn't there, it's like uh, the race is going to go a little slower. Yeah, that, that makes sense. All right, Jake, how would you analyze your easy, in season performances? Cause I mean, you're, you're at the very top level. You're someone who, it, it seems like you have a lot of really good taper meets, especially in the last couple of years, but you're also someone who can throw down pretty well in season. Yeah, it, it's hard because I race Carson all the time in season, and Carson's like the king of in season swimming. So <laughs> I get like, I don't know. I, I like how I swim in season, but I feel like sometimes I'm like, dang, that I just got annihilated. Casper, too. Casper's really good in season. I feel like my best in season meet was like the Virginia meet. That was like a really fun one. I feel like it was just because the atmosphere there was, was really good. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can pull it together decently well enough in season. Uh, but I know a lot of my training partners is there's like a, it's kind of a Texas thing to be really bad in season. <laughs> uh, Cody, what do you make of in season swimming breaststroke? Um, I don't know. Like, I think, I think it varies person to person. Like, I don't think you can just say it's easier to swim one stroke good in season compared to another stroke. Because, um, I mean, I've known some breaststrokers that are really good in season and then some that are not. And the same with, like, like literally every other stroke. For me, it was, like, a mm -hmm. progression of getting better in season. Like, my freshman year in college, I was garbage. I didn't win a single dual meet. Sophomore year was a little better. Junior year, I was pretty good in season. And then senior year, I don't think I lost until, like, maybe – I lost my uh, my Hunter breaststroke my senior year at Big Tens, and that stung a little bit. But anyway, Aww. I'm, like, cool with it now because me and Bruno are friends now. But, um, <laughs> but, and, but and then as a pro – and then and then it was the same thing. Like, that was short course, right? So then, like, learning to be good in season long course is, like, a whole nother step. Um, but I'm amazed when I see people throw down, like, nasty times. Like, when I see Chase, even just a few years ago, throwing down some pretty nasty times in the IMs in season. Like anytime I see, like anytime I see Carson or anyone do a gnarly 400 IM in season, I'm just like, I don't like, I don't, that's a, that's a different kind of ability that even like elite level swimmers are just like in awe of. And I'm very much in awe of it like all the time. 
Yeah, I remember, the, you know, a few years ago when Chase was really was really clicking and he would just go like 411, 410 at pro <clears throat> swims and, you know, 157, 2 IM, 155, 2 fly, 209, 200 breasts, just like clockwork and be like, dude, yeah, how is he doing this? Yeah. What's wrong? So I, I got I gotta, to do a callback first. I, I looked up I looked up Carson's 200 free, 145. 57. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, you were right. It was mid. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, was that that finals? What? Was that prelims or finals? I think it was finals. I think he dropped like a 10th at finals. Okay. Okay. He yeah. might have been like six or seven in the morning. Yeah. I'm excited for our for, for US's relay there. Um obviously the Russians aren't there and Britain's kind of undermanned, but so I think we have a very good chance to medal. <laughs> I know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping Kobe can work as some kind of magic in prelims, and then the final relay can be Drew Carson and Kobe, and plus Kieran. But we'll see. I feel like that'd be sick. That would be really great. Do you, do we do you know if Carson will be on the Carson will be on the morning relay? I'm guessing. Um, has anything come out with that yet? I feel like I shouldn't even say. No. Okay. Yep, not gonna ask. Coleman, Coleman's I'm trying to get you to break me and you shouldn't be doing it. Just keep your mouth. <laughs> so shut. I didn't, keep your mouth I shut. didn't. Yeah, sorry, I didn't. I didn't think about it. Don't answer that, Jake. Okay, don't yeah. answer. I won't. Don't answer that. <laughs> we don't want to make the powers that be upset. Yeah, I don't well, want to make it upset either. <laughs> we already know that that uh, the Carson's going to swim at the sectional meet, so that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe see like a four free there or something. Would love to see that. Are you going to be swimming at sectionals as well? Yeah, my main meet is going to be uh, the nationals in Irvine, so that'll be more of a tune-up meet for me. But nice. I'll be there. Irvine national USA swimming is spending like a, they're 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 spending a lot of money on on nationals in Irvine to make it huge. Really? And uh, yeah, yeah, they are like a mini AquaZone uh, VIP on both sides. Usually VIPs on one side, they're going to do VIP on both sides, and the High stands, open bar, you know, it's gonna be crazy. There's gonna be over a hundred. We have 150 Olympic medals from past athletes showing up to watch. Nice. It's gonna be cool. Nice from Mel Stewart. <laughs> um, we got results in the women's two breasts. So that second semi was significantly slower. Mm -hmm. Um. So, I mean, both Americans move on easily. Lily's second, Kate's mm -hmm. fourth. Nice. There we go. I'm going to say on the podium tw uh, twice again. And then we got men's two back semis coming up. Yep. It's a lot of swimming today. Shane's um, top seed. Shane, dude, I, I keep forgetting how many teammates you have in this meet. <laughs> I know. And I, we were really close to having even more twos, like because I think David got third in two events. Uh, Luke Hobson oh, right. got seventh uh, in the two, two free, free, and then I got third That's in right. two breasts. So it's like, I mean, we've got we've got five five uh, Americans there, and then one from Netherlands, Casper. We could have mm -hmm. almost had eight Americans <laughs> there, which would have been crazy. Yeah, I mean that's. That's a lot. Texas is really doing work in this one. Uh, yeah. So here's women's 200 breast results for those of you watching. Um, okay, so tell me about – I so I came to one of you guys' number practices right after the San Antonio Pro Swim, <laughs> and Shane just feels like a loose cannon. It's so funny watching him because <laughs> him and David were going back and forth. What has training with Shane been like since he's been in Austin? He is like the loudest person at every practice and it's hilarious. Um, it's like, you kind of saw it. Him and David like are like dumb and dumber a little bit. Like they're always <laughs> just like barking at each other. Like, like saying like, Oh, if I swam this, like who would win or like something like, it's like all these hypotheticals that like, I don't know. It's very entertaining. And uh, you, I feel like Shane's always like the biggest presence on deck wherever he's at. Um, but it's definitely been fun to train with him this year. And Eddie, Eddie loves him. Uh, cause I, I feel like 
Shane like teases Eddie a little bit. Like they're like kind of like he's like like pokes at him and all that kind of stuff. And Eddie Eddie kind of likes it. So I think it's it's a good dynamic dynamic having him train with us. He's yeah. also like elite at training, which is fun to do too. Yeah. He's <laughs> he seems like he can pretty much throw down whenever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. Uh we got women's two hundred breast results up. Lily King easily moving on. She's second seed at 222.5. Kate Douglas is in there for fourth at 223.7. Cody, you picked a good way to walk, a good time to walk away because the second semi was significantly slower than the first. So yeah, sorry about that. I've got a bunch of patio <laughs> furniture getting delivered, and these guys are like putting things <laughs> together and like walking through the house and. And then I've got plumbers. We had this big water leak, like my kitchen flooded the, just the other day. It's like, and I'm like designing this YouTube studio downstairs, like directly below in my basement and just water flooded uh -huh. the whole. So anyway, sorry, I got a lot oh, of stuff going no. on. no. Not very professional <laughs> me, I apologize. That's okay, that's terrible news. It, it's okay, it's, honestly, it's uh, nothing like that isn't gonna be relatively easily fixed and taken care of. So like the world is not ending, it's okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, tell us, a, to give us a quick vlog update as we're, oh, never mind. We've got swimmers in the water. I'm, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to get an update soon. We got swimmers in the water. <laughs> Mel's excited about it. Uh, Shane in the water? Is, no, Shane's top next. seat, I think. Yeah, I think Ryan's uh, next as well. <sighs> All right, so we got no americans in this heat so why even bother what was um what was murphy in prelims do we have let me look at this yeah one. murphy was 56 9 okay and then shane was 56 6 so they're first and third seeds um man this field is i know luke green bake and I know the guy from France has been having a good Luke meet. Green Bank, I'm not gonna, fifty-six six. I'm not going to attempt to say his name. Um, <clears throat> Luke Green Bank recently saw him at Marinostrum. He trains at Loughborough. I was recently there. He's a tuner back guy. He looks strong as always. He has a very aggressive shoulder rotation. Like looking right now on my, on my screen, they've got the over pan camera. And if you look at his head, mm -hmm. very, very steady, very pure salt like, but I mean, his shoulders really, really rotate like, and it looks like he really throws his arms off to the side farther than a lot of people. And you know, you know who kind of swims like that. And it's like a little wonky, but he's still obviously very fast is Chase. Chase swims like that. When I look at it, like, he's kind of got like, a, I'm not saying that they have the same backstroke, but the way that he really driving his shoulders like he's got a lot of rotation like a little bit of a wiggle he's he looks really powerful oh who's this dude on the outside moving up oh man oh man uh brody williams he he's an isl guy um i don't i don't remember what team he swims for though 156 one um to win that heat Oh, you guys are like yeah. 10 seconds ahead of me. This is, I got to like, I'm backing out of my app and get yeah. reset because this is going to drive yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I've got the same thing. I, I've i refreshed my three Peacock? times. Uh, I'm on NBC Sports, like the Olympic channel. I don't know. Okay. I think it's I'm, just like all the streams go through this. What are you guys using? Like to be so I'm far ahead. I'm streaming on Peacock. I've got Peacock as well. So maybe uh, it's... Uh, Maybe Peacock. you're just on the uh, Indiana time. I don't know. I'm down with yeah. Peacock. Peacock's got good content. It's not. It's not Cody Miller Adventures, but it's pretty good. It's a close second. <laughs> oh, good plug, Mal. <laughs> hey, they've got the Office though. That's like the only reason I have the service is because I still want not as good. <laughs> not as good as Cody Miller Adventures, but uh, wait. So know, it, 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 it makes it makes the podium. Hold on, I am curious, Cody. Uh, you just put out a vlog recently about a, a super summer swim camp can you tell oh yeah can you give us oh, tell us about that you guys are just the best the yeah so um i've been uh, working with blake um peroni and we're structuring a week-long adult swim camp for master swimmers triathletes all that i mean pretty much of whatever caliber swimmer you are as long as you can do like a few reps in a row without really stopping like you can attend this camp 
And um, like I'm, I'm doing all the programming, going to be writing the workouts, structuring it for whatever ability the athlete is. Um, and then we're also going to be doing like a lot of fun excursions. Like we're going to do a lot of stuff at the beach. We're staying at this resort and um, we're going to be, where is be, it? Uh, it, so we're training it's in, in Fort Lauderdale and we're going to be training at the, what I believe is recently refurbished or renovated um, swimming hall of fame pool, which I've never been right. to before. So I'm like pretty excited to go. So we're going to be training there, staying at this resort, like all the athletes, we're going to stay in one place and um, we've got a lot. So it's going to be like part swim camp for, you know, adults, part like hangout vacation vibe. Like, you know, we're going to go on, you know, we do fun stuff. So I'm really, really excited about it. It's something I've never done Date. before. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Dates. Can people sign up? Where do you sign up? Oh, uh, right on. Yeah. Yeah. You're better than me. Uh, <laughs> people just need to go to global swim and there's a few different camps. I think Colin, Colin Jones is doing one. I think Lockheed's doing one. Um, and mm -hmm. it is, the week leading up to Labor Day weekend. And then that weekend of Labor Day, there is also an event called Race the Legends where me and a handful of other Olympians and medalists will be there to basically just have this like fun swim competition. Like there's a few different events. Like there's like a, you know, like an 800 meter. There's a, for like, for younger swimmers. There's a 5K for like the more ambitious swimmers. I'm like, I'm like Blake, man, like, let's do this 5k, man. Like, let's go, you know, cause he just had his knee surgery just a few weeks ago. So he's not in the best of shape. So I'm thinking, I'm <laughs> thinking I can get him this time, you know, so it'll be fun. I thought you were going to say that this camp is located in your backyard in your infinity pool. And I was going to be stoked. Is, is that, that the sign up? Is that the sign up URL? Um, the URL if you go to the global swim series.com page, the home page should be just a list of the links to the different camps. So that should be the, the go-to. Um, yeah, I haven't put my, my endless pool back together yet. It's in pieces in my garage. I have a massive garage and I've got like a third slot that it's going to go in. I do have a felt swim spa in my backyard though, that came with the house. So I have two. <laughs> that That's came really? with the house. That's yeah, that in the pool. Too. And a master swim spa? Yeah, dude, we're a full-on swimming household, okay? And then we're, we're on a lake, so, like, we can just go do some of water swimming, like, right off my dog and go swim in the lake. So maybe I'll set something so, like that up, guys. Let's go. So jealous. Okay, Shane I'm is walking jealous. out. Let's go. <laughs> Cody Miller jealousy <laughs> on the good. front end of this second flight of the 200 back semis where Shane Costas is going to go 151. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we'll see something crazy out of Shane. Okay, I, I cool. Think this morning was pretty easy for him, if I were to imagine, because he's done 156s in practice, um, which is what? crazy. Of course. What? Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> he did what? it like, right before he left. He, like, he, like, we, he, they did a fast day, but the taper group was different from the training group. And like, he came into the locker room and he's, we're like, how'd it go? And he's like, it was all right. And we're like, what'd you go? He's like, it was like a 156. Everyone was like, oh. <laughs> casual all right. that's all right all I'm, right i'm really excited to see him so jake do you think it's fair to say shane was a little disappointed that this was his only event at worlds yeah i think i think that's fair he really wanted uh, the sprint backstrokes i know that mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, but but it's, it's, it's you got you got to give this its respect it, it deserves a team team usa a team first yeah. time Mm -hmm. And he's and he's swimming fast, so this is yeah. his big step up. Shane's got a lot of goals, uh, so I think he's like, I mean, a lot of really high goals. So I think he's pretty hard on himself with stuff like that. So like, he was a little disappointed with only getting one, but I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, it's still a huge achievement. All right, they're at fifteen meters on my screen. Where are they at, guys? Let's go. They're Good. about to turn at the fifty wall for me. <laughs> Oh my Shane's out. God, Shane's out no. first. Twenty six eight no. four. Shane checked his yes, first at the wall. Twenty six eight four. I just want to see ruthless front end Texas speed. That's how they do it. You guys just go. You guys, when you go your best times, the Texas dudes just send it. It's the old. It's the way. It's the That's way. True. Oh, they're at seventy five now, and Shane is Shane's making a move. That doesn't surprise I me. It. I think he, I would anticipate he'll be out pretty fast. Yeah, world records, 54-9 pace. He's 55-9. He's 55-9-4, Alex. Smooth. Yeah. Uh, he he looks long. Like, he – I 
I don't really know how to describe the stroke. It looks like he's pounding the water, but he looks really long and controlled. Um, yeah, he looks really good. It looks like he's grabbing a lot of water. Yeah, and he's just pulling away on this third 50. 125.77 at the 150. Yeah. Man, he has a tremendous amount of reach. I would love to see what his wingspan is because when they do that overhead shot, his arms are real wide. He is catching a ton of water. He does have yeah, I mean, Mur like, like, like Murph, even like Murph. Murph is so much more narrow when you look at it from the overhead. I mean, he's explosive. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're, we're let, oh, let you you've already seen this. the edge. You've already seen. We have. Uh, That's the one fifty for me. So I got hold on fifty. <laughs> Whoa, Murphy! Did you guys see it? Murphy Did you guys made see what happened? Move. Murphy's big making a comeback. Big, big move. Oh. Oh. Is he in? Pain. Come on, stick it. Wow. In. Yeah. If so, uh, Murph is one fifty-five, four three, touching first. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shane faded when, when, when he started, he started to fade about the last 20 meters, got low in the water, started sinking in the water a bit. But, uh, we got results coming right now. So there's Shane's comfortably in at sixth. Okay. Good. Um, Murphy's top seed <laughs> by well over half a second. Uh, Yo, Shane's last 50. Ouch. 31-1. Yeah. I have felt that kind of pain. <laughs> Not fun. I think many swimmers have been there. Uh, you know, you know. know that's kind of what semis are for, right? Yeah, totally. You're just experimenting. You know, sometimes let's say you got to say this, and you guys, like Cody's had experience. We all know what this is like. Sometimes you you go to the big show, and everything isn't working the way you want it to work, and you got to it's going to be painful and you're going to have to swim the best race you can and and just embrace the pain this is a great experience for shane shane this is uh he's going to learn a lot this year yeah he's mm -hmm. definitely i mean he's obviously a, a ridiculously accomplished swimmer um but and he's like still on the rise and has i mean a lot of room for growth and a lot of great stuff ahead of him but there's also something to be said about like it's your first world championship I mean, it's not a final world championship semifinal. So the ability to be out fast, but still loose and not tight and not feel that piano on your back, that last 50. I mean, like that swim right there is probably a learning experience. I mean, he's got, he's been faster. He's going to be faster, but it being, being able to swim the race in that, in that kind of environment, I mean, there's no substitute for just experience. I mean, the way you saw Murphy come home that fourth 50 in that kind of, in that situation coming from, I think he was like third or fourth, that's just experience. And that's just the one thing that Shane is just, I mean, he's just gaining, right? He's just going to keep getting better. So a, a, a non-swimmer was asking me about what this world championships means. And I said, this is just practice. Because, you know, people who come to Swim Swam will remember this, you know, our, our, our endemic fans will remember this moment, but we also have a short-term memory. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna remember 2024. They're gonna remember the Olympics. This is uh, so I, I like seeing new talent get a get a get a bite at the apple, and uh, get some experience under their belt. But that that was yes, that was a learning experience. That he that's a good that's that's the context there. Jake, you look like you're in pain. I I don't know I I can't really I don't really know what to think about. Uh, because I feel, I mean, I feel for Shane a little bit there. Because like I, I feel like he probably wanted a little bit more. But I mean, that's what the finals are for, hopefully. So I, I think he, he just needs to reassess his strategy a little bit. Because I think he took it out a little bit too aggressive, and he paid for it at the end. And I'm sure that's probably what Eddie will tell him. Um, but I think finals will be good. I really want him to get a medal. So. And listen, uh, he might be he might be able to go out that fast or close to that fast it's just a matter of doing it and not being too tense and not being too tight like it's that yeah. fine line of just a few degrees just a few percentage points off a little bit and you're just a little bit more relaxed i mean he was mm. he was out like a cannon so you never know was. um what is cody is Cody renovating in his house? What's going on? Is he moving? Cody's, Cody Cody had set up a YouTube studio in his basement and got flooded. 
Oh no! Is so, that what he said? Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. So he he's got a lot going on. He's kind of he's coming in and out. We appreciate his him being able to hop on at all. Um, so we got women's four by two. Jake, you this is the one race you don't have teammates in. But what yeah. are you thinking about this race? Uh Ledecky's on it, right? That should help. Ledecky. Ah. Is- <laughs> Great we've enough. got Claire. Yeah. We've got we've got Claire Weinstein leading off, and then it's Leah Smith, Katie Ledecky, and Bella Sims. That's a no, good we, we interviewed. We interviewed. We yeah. interviewed Ledecky. Uh, Coleman, you, you captured this interview at Team Trials, and we reran this media over and over and over. She had one clip, and she's like, "You know what? People always count out women's Team USA four by two, and her message was, don't count us out. That's not that's not a smart thing to do.'" They said they were, were they under the world record? They got silver and they were under the world record uh, at, at the Olympics, correct? That's correct, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, they're in the water. Cody's, Cody's wearing a lot of hats right now. Cody, what are you I'm laughing sorry. For? My wife, <laughs> you better, if you don't want me to say anything, get out of frame, Allie. There's guys pull, running pull. through my house. There's a lot going on right now. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on. And I'm trying to watch this be and, uh, you know, be. I'm trying to be professional with you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good, Tomorrow, man. Tomorrow will be better. <laughs> all good. Um, Co- okay, we had a comment. Cody, what do you think of Sandpipers leading off and anchoring this relay? Oh, I have so much pride, man. I have so much pride. Ron has done such a good job with that group of swimmers. And, um, I mean – I remember in 2008, our whole goal was like, just put one person, just as a club, we were like, let's make one, per- let's put one person in the meet. And um, there were like four of us, a couple of my friends got close, but I made the meet. And then 2012, they had a little squad. In 2016, he had a bigger squad. And shoes last, last year he had like 20 something. And now he put girls on the Olympic team. And to see what he has built in the last 10 years, since I have left the program, I have so much pride. I mean, he just... He's gotten so good at programming, so good at connecting with athletes. Um, and I mean, they do it all, right? He's got, he's just got a lot of fast swimmers. And um, I am pumped because, you know, I never, if you would ask me that year, you know, a while back, I would have never been like, no, there's just no way. But it's, it's, pre- it's really cool. It's really cool. The fact that the, he, in, last year, he put three girls on the Olympic team. And then this year, one of them left for college and another girl stepped up and took her place on the international. Like, you know, he still put three girls. One of them is different on the international team. It's like, what? Yeah. He, yeah. he's certainly doing something right. I mean, he's doing a lot of things right, but he's, uh, I've got, I'm very, very proud of that program. Yeah. Canada one fifty four seven to that? lead off. That was, um, summer Macintosh. Fifteen-year-old okay. Summer Macintosh. Fifteen-year-old Summer Macintosh bringing the heat. Yeah. Uh, so U.S. is in third. Australia is in second. What happened to China? Leah Smith's in the water there? right now. So China uh, led off with Muhan Tang. Now I have Ling Bing. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. The yeah. important news that that's happening right now is that while Cody stepped away, Jake Jake asked if if he would come down to Austin and do a Cody. Miller Adventures episode with him, dude. I'll tell he didn't, you, what, he didn't ask that. He didn't ask that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I would love to come down and swim a couple practices with Texas. That would be a blast, man. I would. Be I, know. I love that pool. I, actually, I did one with Will a couple years ago. I was there for something, and and uh, Will was like, "You want to train with me?" And I was like, "Yes, I do." So he and I did a few practices together. We did a. I remember we did a breaststroke kick set, and he killed me. He killed like he was. <laughs> He was really good on a board, um, and uh, it was a lot of fun, man. It was fun. Yeah. So well, you he right doesn't in. have to ask. I'll come down. Yeah. He's yeah. Will, me, Charlie, and Casper would all have you. That's First a good, group would be That's a strong group right there, and yeah. a pretty diverse group. Like a lot of you guys swim differently. Like uh, obviously, all really, really. That's that's deep. That's really deep. Yeah, that'd be great, man. That'd be fun. Yeah. You guys let me know when it happens. I'll drive down as well. We'll, we'll make it a whole thing. I need to get I need to get in just like a little better shape. Right now, it's not gonna happen. Right now, I'm not gonna come down and embarrass myself. I need a few more a few more workouts under my belt. We'll pay. We're gonna we'll we'll pay you to 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 do a two day film lab with with Coleman. 
Film oh, school. Yeah, you could do you could do practice with Texas and then do film school with Coleman. Cool. Mm. That'd be that'd be, that'd be really a lot of fun. fun. And I love okay. Austin and I want to get some good food. Like it's just mm. checking all the boxes, guys. Austin's okay, so catch uh, yourself. Yeah, I'm Neki's sorry. In I, the I, water. Let Necky's in the water, closing, pulling the superhero move. You know she's not anchoring though, right? She's in the water now. Yeah, but that it's the third leg. I realize it's the third leg, Coleman. I'm a I'm not a boomer. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I'm uh, generous. All right. She's she's looking good. So uh Australia's got Kia Melverton in the water. Canada's got Penny sorry, Taylor Ruck. Um and that I mean, those are the three big players right now. China is surprisingly well out of it. Um yeah. they do have Yang Jun Xuan anchoring, um, who was the 200 free world champion now, but they they look pretty out of it. Um, it's it's a three team race right now, and Ledecky looks like she is pulling ahead of Australia. She and just outsplit the field on my screen by six tenths. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bell, and Bella's going to drop a 155 or 154 plus. She's going to be strong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is oh, over. Wow. Team USA's got this. Let's start celebrating. Hey, man, Bella's not in the water on my screen yet. You're driving crazy. Wait, so, I internet. mean, they just flipped to the 750 on my screen. I'm refreshing because I think this is bogus that, that you're now ahead of me. <laughs> I'm still on Ledecky. Ledecky Ledecky's okay, gonna... they're about to change over on my screen. Yeah, no, right Ledecky's about to touch. So Here's we're at we're a second ahead of Australia, two seconds ahead of Canada. And with and Bell is in the water now for it's me. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. It's a good spot. So Molly O'Callaghan is anchoring for Australia. That's a little scary. Bella Sims and Penny Alexiak for Canada. Ooh, I'm glad we have that cushion because those are stout competitors. Yeah. Bella is going for it though. One and a half seconds ahead at the fifty. <laughs> So I'm not too mad about that one. They can't even see her feet. They look, <sighs> they, they turn, they're, they're breathing right. They can't see her feet. Um, Cody, can you tell us anything about Bella? Have you ever swam with her? I've only, I've trained with her just a, a, a handful of times. Um, she is a relatively high volume swimmer. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know that like the, the general understanding or people's perception of sandpipers is everyone does egregious yards. I can tell you that's not the case. Um, mm -hmm. Most of his swimmers do what I would consider to be a moderate, modest amount of yards. Um, but she is on the upper side. You know, she does do 70, 80,000, you know, yard weeks. Um, okay. But she's, I mean, you know, she's like one of, she's one of the most versatile swimmers in the world. She's got like 11 Olympic trial times. Like what kind of, she's a savage. Um, she does the mile and the 50 free, but I mean, she's not going to die. I mean, no way. She's this young swimming for Ron. Dude, she's got two hundred, too many three hundred poles under her belt. Just like yeah, <laughs> she's gonna, she's, gonna she's killing it. She's out splitting. She's, away. she's gonna out split them right now. That that's she's, killing she's gained. She's yeah. gaining ground. I mean, I they're mean, not far off the. They've got the record lineup. Look at this. Yeah, I, this is this is not so. Oh, U.S. Ledecky was a one fifty three six split on the third. Yeah, Team USA gold championship record. Ooh. Oh, I'm pulling up splits now. Uh, Bella was 154.6 after wow. going 155.9 this morning on that anchor. Yo, they they dominated. Honestly, that they, was wow, <clears throat> wow. They did, and I gotta did, say, go ahead, Cody. I was gonna say, what did Penny split? Let's see. I'm I'm pulling it up right now. 155. So we can all take a look. Penny was 155.8. That's a little surprising. 155.8. Uh, Rolling start. Ouch. Claire Weinstein 156.7 leadoff. To me, that's that's the biggest takeaway. That's a great yeah. swim for her. And then Leah 56.4. Ledecky 53.6. Bella 54.6. Maybe that when, maybe when very strong relay. Maybe when Ledecky That's says really don't weird. don't don't count team the women's four by two out, maybe maybe we should listen to her. I I don't know. 
She's got, she's got <laughs> Olympic medals. Maybe we should listen to her when she says something. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that closes us out for today. Who's coming back for tomorrow? <laughs> I'll be back. Cody will have, be back. I'll come back. I have lifting tomorrow, so I will not be able to join again. It's okay. Jake, we appreciate your time. Cody, we appreciate you making the time. Uh, great talking to you guys. Everyone out there, we'll see you tomorrow.